Warning, crude language and alcohol inbound. Enjoy. Hi, so uh, firstly, I want to apologize about my audio. Um, I only just found out maybe 10 minutes ago in the editing stage that um, it don't work well. Yeah, don't work well. There, the camera started picking stuff up. So yeah, as a result, there isn't too much I can do. The audio is just going to be really funky. I do apologize. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank DM, Mike, a great guy, wonderful guy. Thanks very much for putting this on Prisma. Um, it's also been really great to handpick all the players I'm playing with, and for that, I would like to say thirdly, thank you to all the players. Um, yeah, yeah, play people I want to play with, and a game I've always wanted to play. So, uh, here's hoping we have a good upcoming time. And next time, the audio not be fucked. Enjoy. No. So here's what we're gonna do to just kick the session one off, Bernadette. I would like yeah. you to roll a straight d20, please. Yo, mate, where's the music, bruh? Oh, fuck me. I mean, no thanks. I'm not desperate. No thanks. Right, <laughs> Price. I, I don't I've know got, you I've that well that. yet. Oh, okay. I've got Scottish for that. I've got Scottish for that. Allow me. You see, good morning, when it's bad day, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, You know why? Because somebody wrote a better backstory than the rest of you fuckers. Yeah, fuck you guys. I thought my backstory was pretty good, but thank Yeah, here's the thing, I have a better story. I just can't be fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like my backstories. Uh, I, will say, I, I will say this, that everyone that took the time to write a backstory did a marvelous job. But there are some people that just really rose. It's like the cream. The cream that rose. The creme above, de la creme. The creme de la creme. I'll give you a cream. Yeah, I <laughs> Oh, Scottish. Wow. I, can, I am cream Scottish. I am absolute cream. You're correct. Do you know what? Cream. End over. Please. Okay. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> oh. I, I also that keep that. Three different directions. I keep that next to the Chinese menu. That way, you know you're getting a good date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Come so there, young folk. <laughs> Oh, Pokeball! Are you poking me my button? Are you poking me? I'm poking you! Oh, motherfucker! I poke you in the bum hole after I eat you, dog! Motherfucker! I poke you for two! So, I mean, look. I poke for two, motherfucker! I'm gonna stop making jokes now. Oh my god, we are gonna be banned. So hopefully those that have Saren's tape now have a little bit of background noise going on. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, may I please have no. Fetsu roll a d20, please? Rip. Were you just talking about a uh, good backstory and then it just got completely side railed? Oh, way off the rails. Uh, Draken. Oh, the um... You don't need one. Oh, yay. Uh, actually, yes. Uh, Draken, <laughs> please roll a d20. Oh. Motherfucker. Howie's Howie. Matthew's still a lucky number. We don't even know what these d20s are for. It could be one of the better. I do. You know what? Take, you take that many mortal wounds. Well, welcome to being a player. I uh, know it's a fucking. DM. It's a weird one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What's my heart? I'm not happy. That's I can't hide my hairline. Is that all? Or that's who. Oh. After your encounter from yeah. your backstory. You mm -hmm. begin walking 
alone. And fuck me. Again, we've been all you of fuck us. Him? Fuck me. <laughs> we've been, we've been like, oh, oh. Was it wasn't even five minutes ago, mate. <laughs> yeah. That's you his begin, fucking scene illness. You begin walking in an, an arbitrary direction. Alone and confused. So my feel on a daily basis then. You decide what the fuck is my brain? to stop and make, and make camp for the night. You light a fire in hopes of laying down <laughs> and putting your weary mind to rest. And doing so he has a real wink. Yeah, well, Corey, I mean, what a man, what a, what a man does in his own tent is up, entirely up to him. Pictures a tent in his own tent. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not here to judge. And upon arising, <laughs> you realize that the forest and the trees, the palm trees. And the flowering bushes are gone. And you wake up in a deep, dark, forested area of evergreens and fog, completely alone. This is really there is a carriage trail before you that runs east to west. You have no idea where you are or what direction you should take. What do you do? Take Olin, firstly. This is... This is new, definitely. I'm from from where I've came from. I, I, I imagine it's completely different in all temperaments, humidity, weather, everything's off, even the color, and you know the, oppre the oppressive heat and the sweltering sweltering humidity that you are accustomed to is gone it is cool almost cold a shiver runs down your spine <laughs> you are not in Kansas anymore Toto <laughs> uh, so the tracks the, tr the way I look at the tracks the tracks east to west will stand south to north or Am I on the tracks? The road extends east and west. The road is well traveled. Are there any distinguishing marks? There's obviously tracks potentially from like, you know, um, carts, but shoehorn or beasts of burden horns or tracks to show that a direction that whatever it is has been going in. You can give me a survival check. DC D 10. I've got plus three. All I need is seven. Wait, three. Ah. Not 20. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. First of the game. <laughs> well, so just so everybody knows... That there is not a a roll of a nat twenty will not result on a skill check of an automatic success or failure. But Thetsu, the most no. recent tracks that you, the um, the road that you are kind of checking out is muddied by a number of 
tracks, but the freshest tracks that you find, the ones that are not collapsed in over time or rain or weather or whatever it is, and the hoof prints denote that they are traveling westward. You can tell that there were two draft horses hauling a cart. And the cart was heavy as the depressions in the ground are deeper than one that might be unladen. Uh, I'll take a look to one side and see if I can see anything off in the distance as to an idea of where it's came from before I'm going to take a look over to the other side just to maybe see where it was going look up in the sky and just kind of the... make, make a note that I am out of my element for a change Yep. You are in very unfamiliar territory. The sun is nearly blotted out by the fog and clouds. You can tell that the sun is hanging in the sky. But you have no other reference points. You know, simply know that this trap, this road travels from east to west. And I'll <clears throat> take my quarter staff and just follow the tracks in the direction of the hoofs and the uh, do tracks in the hoofs for that direction with the quarter staff in the hand it's gonna on edge trying to gauge <laughs> trying to gauge what's going on you know just in case anything tries to jump out at us but i will go the direction of the car all right so you are in uh kind of whistling going through the graveyard so to speak and you begin trudging westward and with that Draken. You find your, yourself in a tavern. Ooh, I love this part. <laughs> Hang on. You trust, trust, trust. find yourself in a tavern. The room is filled with I don't think that's the sound of The drums do sound good though. There's a soundtrack I'm looking for. You find yourself in a tavern at the end of a long day. Other humanoids are in the room. Your gaze falls upon the crowd and you see one individual that sticks, sticks out from the rest. It is a dragonborn. You take note of him.
And of course, this is the part where Suddenly the door tavern swings open and a hush falls over the room. Framed by the lamp-lit fog, a form strides through the doorway. His heavy booted footfalls and the jingle of his coins scatter the silence. His brightly colored clothes are draped in loose folds about him, and his hat hangs askew. Hiding his eyes in the shadows, without hesitation, he walks up to your table and proclaims loudly in a wide stance with folded arms. Greetings. I have been sent to you to deliver this message. If any of you be creatures of honor, you will come to my master's aid at first light. It is not advisable to travel the village woods at night. <laughs> he pulls from his tunic a sealed letter. He drops the letter upon the table and says, Take the best road from here. Five hours march or so through the Svelich woods. There you will find my master in Barovia. Amid the silent stares of the patronage, the gypsy strides to the bar and says to the weary bar creep, Fill the glasses, what and all. Their throats are obviously parched. He drops a heavy purse with gold upon the bar. With that, he leaves. The babble of voices resumes. Although somewhat subdued, the letter is before you. The seal in a shape of a crest you do not recognize. Does Cody noise meet it? Does, does Cody noise meet it? Maybe. So, so Draken, no Draken, and Selka, you are in the tavern. A letter has been dropped before Draken. Oh, what do you um, do? You're, you're muted on Discord? Yeah, no, just keep it up. Before oh. anything, did the guys say it's asking for aid or help? Mike's been rolling me, so I, I'll let them know that you're just in the toilet there. <laughs> then I will, in fact, walk over to the table where he dropped the letter. Draken was making pee pee. <laughs> Draken just soiled himself. Mm. Draken almost soiled himself. <laughs> Draken, before you on the table lies a letter with a wax seal and a stamp upon it which you have never seen before in your life. Mm -hmm. A dragonborn strides over to look down upon the letter and you. Okay. To see what your next action may be. I wouldn't have just look at him and go, can I help you? Were you not paying attention for what the man said? I wasn't here for what the man said. I just heard... Thing on the table. Dragonborn come over and look at me. 
All right. Uh, just a second, because you are making water. I will... Oh, this is going to hurt to have to re repeat this, but I'm going to do it because that's the kind of way. No, no, no worries. That's that's the kind of guy I am. Real people's people. Um, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. A man strides across the bar. Mm -hmm. Stands proudly at a wide stance with folded arms, and he says, I have been sent to you. To deliver this message. If you be creatures of honor, you will come to my master's aid at first light. It is not advisable to travel the Svalich woods at night. <laughs> he pulls from his tunic a sealed letter addressed to you in a beautiful flowing script. He drops the letter upon the table. Take the vest road from here, some five hours march down through the Svelich woods. There, you will find my master in Barobia. Amid the silent stares of the patronage, the gypsy strides to the bar and says to the weary barkeep, Fill the glasses, one and all. Their throats are obviously parched. With that, he drops a heavy purse with gold upon the bar and leaves. The babble of the tavern resumes, although somewhat ad ad subdued. The, leather, the letter is lying before you. The seal is in a shape of a crest you do not recognize. All right. Go ahead, this crest. <laughs> I was going to very cautiously stare at this layer, confused. And trying to figure out why the fuck is some random guy just came up to me and gave me this. But okay. As I'm looking at it, I'm very hesitant of opening it in case, you know, something pops out and tries to fucking go for me. Because, you know, as a magical man myself, I know people can just put something in there that will just, as soon as I open it, it's dead. So. Well, in that case, give me an investigation check. Okay, okay. My sheet has closed itself. Lovely. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. One investigation check. Ah, my friend, this seems nothing more than a simple missive, missive, message sent to you from a hand of an unknown stranger. As I'm looking at it, I'm still cautious of such and place it down on the table in front of me and just pick up my drink and have a drink and go, yeah, I'll open it later. The man said his master needed aid. I am a healer. So, if you are going to join me, I would like to accompany you. I'm going to just start smoking a cigarette and laugh and go, <laughs> the fuck said I was going? Oh, he's a man in need. So, I don't fucking know. Does that matter? Yes. How would you feel? You're sitting in a place you know very well. Some random ass fucking dude comes up to you and goes, Hey dude, I need your help. Come here, but don't travel your night. Dangerous. You're not gonna fucking go during a day at all if it's dangerous at night. Because what if you get lost on the way there? It becomes nightfall. We get lost. We're stuck in the forest at night. We're he dead. Said, he said take the road. That's hard to get lost on a road. Do you forget that we live in a place that, you know, the road has a fucking forest around it. This fucker could send us on a dead end. The road just stops and it becomes a forest with a small path. You seem to have a lack of trust. Yeah. Some random fucking dude just came up to me and said that we need your help, my master demands you here. You'd be a bit fucking weary as well. No. 
so you you're not kind of confused why some random fucking dude just came up to you and get here morning now no it's happened before i see no reason why would that you need to go to fucking counseling i'm a healer it's my job to help people in need yes but as a healer you would also know to be very cautious of the people you heal yes because you can never know that you could be healing someone and they go, oh, thank. Stab right through the neck. You're dead. I'm going to interrupt this fantastic role playing. I'm going to call my wife. Please continue and I'll be back in five minutes or so. I doubt most people don't attempt that. And those who do, well, they don't receive healing again from anyone. As I kind of offer you over the cigarette to ask if you want a draw, I kind of go, you say most people, but there's still that small percentage that are assholes, and, you know, I don't want to fuck about with them, if you know what I mean. That is fair. But you know what? As much as I trust your judgment, I'm still Ooh. fucking weary. You have no reason to trust me. You've barely met me. As you stated, you don't trust people you haven't met know very well. I mean, we've been sitting talking for how long now? Two minutes. And, yeah. Um, you seem like a nice enough guy. A bit fucking deluded, but still. Um, I think the word you're looking for is delusional. No, you're fucking deluded. I said it, so fucking deal with it. Oh, fuck, this cigarette's done. Where the fuck's... Oh, fuck, I'm out. Arky! Any more cigarettes? No? Fuck. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking go. Mm. Oh shit, I've got another one. Lights it. Oh, that's fucking mental. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking go. Why cigarettes? Thoughts are from beat the shit out of you. No, I'm just asking you, shouldn't alcohol have enough of an effect to make you. Mm. Not in, yeah, not really. I've drank since I was fucking 13. Yeah, so alcohol has no effect on me. That's sweet. You know, 48, drank since I was 13. Yeah, alcohol has no fucking effect on me anymore. Especially mm. unless it's uh, extra spicy shit. This celestial shit doesn't fucking... Nope, at all. So you're not going? No, fuck that. Are you gonna at least open the letter? I'll just pass it over to you. You fucking open it. Okay. Uh, when Mike gets back, I'm gonna open the letter. Cause... Yep. I ain't having that shit fucking blown up in my face. Fuck that. Hello, I am back. I've roused my bride from her slumber. Uh, he's passed the letter op over to me and I've opened it. Okay. What does it say? Uh... Ah, it's Led Zeppelin's immigrant song lyrics, I see. <laughs> you can't find it in notes. <laughs> I can find it. We'll just take you about an hour. Matthew, I like you, you immediately just text me going, I like him, <laughs> Mikey Belkovich. <laughs> that is as if channeling your inner Mickey Belkovich there. <laughs> this is very, this image is very pixelated and it's very cursed. Zoom in then. <clears throat> in ga gazing upon the letter, you read, Hail to thee of might and valor. I a lowly ser servant of Barovia, send honor to thee. We plead for thy so desperately needed assistance. The love of my life, Iradia Koliana, has been afflicted by an evil so deadly that even the good people of our village cannot protect her. She languishes from her wound and I would have saved her from this menace. There is much wealth in this community, 
I offer all that might be had to thee and thy fellows, if thou shalt but answer my desperate plea. Come quickly, for her time is at hand, and all that I have shall be thine. Kolian Indirovich, Burgomaster. Do I know that name? You do not. As you've been reading this, I'm going to walk back from the bar with like a pack of 50 cigarettes in my hand, laughing. Sitting back down. Happy. So what does it say, bitch? Do you like money? That's a stupid fucking question. The guy wants you to come save his dying wife. And yeah. pay Little bitch. He's going to pay you a fuck ton of money if you do so. How much is a fuck ton of money? Uh, I believe it says all that I have. And apparently he's some rich guy, so... Fucking shit, he's broke. You want a cigarette? I don't smoke. Bitch. Do you so know he wants... He wants know? me to come... Some guy he doesn't fucking know, but clearly he fucking does, to help him save his dying wife. How the fuck am I meant to save? His dying wife to look like a fucking medic? I'm a medic. Yeah, but you didn't fucking ask you, ask me. Yeah, I know, that seems very odd. I yeah. Mean, uh, do you know the name? I'm just gonna repeat the name to him. Who? Ilya. Uh, no. Don't know anyone by that name. Alright, apparently that's who sent us to you. I thought you might have some kind of connection, which is why he sent it to you. I don't think I know anyone from this fucking. Oh, from. What is it? What is it? Like, Kalian Endovich. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Weird. It's not what going. I expect nothing less. Unless you somehow convince me to go visit some random fuck in the middle of bum fuck nowhere to save his fucking dying wife. I don't even. Money? No. Fuck money! I got money! But, thing is, this could be blood money. I don't want blood money unless it's milk. Now, I understand that going there, I'm probably gonna have to kill some poor fuck. He was just sitting around doing fuck all. And you're not willing to go out of the kindness of your heart? No, I'm not willing to go help some guy whose wife may or may not be dying. A guy I don't fucking know. Selka, make a persuasion check. I mean, can I have a channel in the Discord for handouts, just post them here? Yep, absolutely. Hang right on. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm very sorry. Fucking you, you bubbling fucking idiot. You have a negative two, my guy. What the fuck? I have very low charisma. <laughs> the wiz with What did you roll? You rolled a five. Negative two. Uh, just for context, say hi. What are your, what's your race again? Uh, Dragonborn. Ah, so you're the Dragonborn, okay. Yes, so, Mr. Scottish, that, uh, scaly that extra, person. Yeah. The, the extra channel should be up in Discord. Uh, what color of Dragonborn? Gold. I have very Ooh. tiny. Wait, please don't. <laughs> what? I just want to know what color he is so I can fucking call him it. Uh, Draken? Yeah. Make a persuasion check. Oh, for him not to go. For him not to go. <laughs> Watch me get on that 20. So fucking poor <laughs> uh, uh, Did you, uh, you said persuasion? Yes. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, called it. Called it. You fucking <laughs> called it. Draken, you still you see no need to leave the confines 
of this tavern. And Selkath, you realize that no matter how much you plead, cajole, or otherwise entice Draken, he will not be moved. He's an oak. What do you do? Told you I'm not fucking going. Yeah, you made that pretty clear, like, uh, three times ago, I think. Well, say it again, I'm not fucking going. Okay. Unless... Unless... Nah, I'm not going. <laughs> what do you think? Funny, now? Honestly, you as, as the DM... You may not realize it yet, Draken, but oh, you're fucking going. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to get him to offer me something that will make me go. If you accept me to offer you something, I doubt you will get anything. Well, I ain't fucking gone then. Roleplay it. Give me something. As I sit back, cross my arms, and look, I'm dead in the eyes. Come on. You're clearly not going to persuade me to go just by words. How about I offer you the word of God? Fuck off. How about I offer you my fist in your fucking face? The word of God is a prayer book. It's a prayer book. <laughs> Draken. Give Shalom. Me, give me a religion check, please. <laughs> To see if he's telling. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Draken, a shiver runs down your spine as the stranger that you have just met invokes the name of his deity, and you begin to have second thoughts. <laughs> I can't believe that fucking word. Who's your deity? Say hi. Uh, uh, you can or cannot disclose that. That is your agency as a character. I don't fucking know. <laughs> so, um, this god of yours. Which god are we talking about here? Life domain. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a yes. lot. I his mean, deity, a lot. His deity is, I don't fucking know. Because, I'll be honest. As much as, you know, you claim of a god, I speak the language of the gods. Let me speak to your god. You can get a hold of him, sure, why not? Well, get me him then, and maybe I'll think about it. <laughs> you want to just like take Draken? Draken, I'm going to call you on this. Your, <laughs> your role playing does not reflect the role of a six. You are questioning whether or not Selkath can invoke the power of his deity. Okay, so what's your name, Dragon Boy? It's okay. All right, Dragon Boy. So, what you're what's your you're name? saying? What, say that again. What's your name, what? Richard? No, it's Dick. Yeah. Okay. No, it's cunt. Actually, get it. Fucking you know right. what, Bernadette? Take a fucking inspiration card for that. I'm just. You know what? I don't actually care what your name is. I'm just gonna call you bitch. So. Okay. As, as he says that, I take my cigarette out and ping it in his face and go, Okay. Your god that you're gonna bestow upon me. Explain how. I just sit there smiling. Come on, smart ass. Invoke your god. Do it. Wait. Wait one moment. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 
Draken. The oh, fuck. <laughs> your, ne- your next encounter involving combat. <laughs> you will suffer disadvantage on all rolls. That's fine by me. As I'm used Sel- to that shit. As Telcath has absolutely channeled the power of his deity. I just said, you'll see. Okay. So, you know what? I started off winning. I ain't winning anymore. Give me that fucking letter. I just hand it to you. I burn it. Right, where are we going? The letter, the letter begins to burn as Draken holds it to the candle on the table. The flames starting small, a flicker, and begins to grow as the parchment begins to ignite. It was on the floor. Let's go. The parchment burns to a cinder, turning to nothing more than ashes. And I would respectfully ask that Scottish delete the handout in the handout section. Yes, sir. Very good, thank you, my friend. Anytime, honey. Oh, you sexy thing, you. Why did you do that? Just fuck you, that's why. <laughs> do you remember where we're going? <laughs> nope. I hope you do. Uh, you can recall that the colorfully clad figure that strode into the bar and paid for all of everyone for everyone's drinks says to take the Svelich road westward from the tavern so this dumb fucker said leave in the morning why not leave at night wasn't actually less than I was too busy smoking I just sit there, think whether or not I just want this guy to die and just send him out at night or actually tell him the truth. That is entirely up to you what you choose to do, (laughs) whether you want to send him out the door or whether you stop him or join him. It's entirely up to you. I just sit there pondering for a couple seconds. So, um, Dragon Boy. If we're leaving, do we leave now? Because if we leave now, we will probably die on the way there. Or do you want to just, you know, sleep on it, come back, and I may or may not still be here? He said go in the morning. I'm going to get a drink. Your choice. I then look over to the barkeep and a uh, slightly loud whistle. Yo, barkeep, can we get two of your most expensive? You cut it then, mate. I shout over to the barkeep. Yo, barkeep, can I get two of your most expensive whiskies? And I turn over to you and I go, What shall you have, Mr. Dragon Boy? Um, the barkeep reaches behind the bar and, I just, and I grabs just, an ornate bottle of amber liquid, placing, placing two shot glasses upon the bar, crystal shot glasses upon the bar and pours two healthy measures into each and slides them towards you, Draken. At that moment, 
The door of the tavern opens. An elderly elderly woman enters carrying a tray of steaming warm baked pastries and announces they're here they're here they're here who would like another and six patrons eagerly rush towards this kindly old woman flipping them each a gold piece in return for a steaming hot pastry which they take and ravenously devour and a smile spreads across their face they are relaxed they are happy and she turns to the rest of the crowd I have four more left I have four more left would anybody like a nice fresh hot pack freshly prepared treat the smell the aroma drifts into your nostrils they are of the utmost high quality no I'm good thanks is it just me or is that really suspicious yep that's why I ain't going fucking near it I take a drink two shots I'm off the bed. Catch you later. Okay. Goodbye. Rockin', you slam down both shots. The liquor is smooth. It warms your belly. You begin to think of the fresh hot pastries. Give me... Give me. A DC-10 constitution check at disadvantage. Motherfucker. Uh, Can I test the technique? Uh, constitution at disadvantage. No, that's a save. Shit. I forget how you run disadvantage in rule 20 again. The, the uh, we always... Okay, so. Out of, uh... Out of game for just a quick, quick moment. So Draken just rolled. On the left is a 16. On the right is a 15. A normal attack will be the left-hand column. With advantage, it will be the higher of the two. With a disadvantage, it will be the lower of the two. And I'll be right back in two seconds. Can I cast attack magic on the Patriots? Wait for the man to come back. Uh, yeah. Corey, really quickly, like, do you have like proficiency in con saves or something up the top there? Um, wait, then no, no, let me check. Uh, this entire time, I'm just wondering no. how long it's going to be before anyone else shows up. Why? Uh, just because if it's the same number, you probably won't need to reroll. What do you mean? It's so, like if you've got proficiency in constitution saves, but you've got a proficiency in standard mm -hmm. constitution. Then a plus, you know, you've got a plus two, so your roll's always going to have a plus two, where if you've got proficiency, you're going to have a plus four instead. So if there's no difference between your save and your check, you may just take the uh. first letter there. Yeah, so it's a constitution check, not a constitution save. Uh, I don't know how to do the normal one. Just, I only just click on the constitution. I uh, did uh, give it a save. Oh no, you clicked the saves. It's a wee bit different to uh, Foundry. See on the left hand side where you see but very left, strength, dex, con. If you click Actually, on that. Ah. Yeah. Right, okay. A little bit better. <laughs> DC was still <laughs> 10. <laughs> Draken. Shovel. 
You know, after a hard night of drinking and a couple of shots to end your night, you really should not go to bed with an empty belly and the savory smell of those meat pies sound like a really, really good nightcap. All I'm going to say right now is fuck you, Mike. You've just made me hungry. <laughs> I want a scotch pie now. Fuck you. I just ate lunch, so I'm not hungry. <laughs> can, I detect, can I cast detect magic on the like, pastries? You asked this before do, you left. Or can yeah. I check you mean? No, detect magic. Oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, oh, of course you can do that. Throw it up there. Ashalam alaikum. Oh yeah, those those pastries are certainly magical. And I don't I don't want one, but it smells so good. Oh, Dragon Boy, try one first. No, uh, no, your your tummy is rumbling. I was just like, yeah, I'm good. Those things are definitely magic, and I am not eating one. Fuck off, I don't want one. I want one. Oh, the kindly old lady looks at you as you approach the tray of the four steaming hot meat pies. Mm. The aroma just dancing in your nostrils. <laughs> oh, my dear. You look so frail, so hungry. Won't you try one? Fuck it. Oh. Less sexy, please? Oh, just, just one gold piece, my dear. Just one gold. Oh, you'll be there you go, so... fucking get it. All right. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. I'm sure we shall meet again. Oh, you look, you look so fine. Shut the so fuck up. Oh, wait, what, what? Shut the fuck up. That's so mean, so mean. No, Here. I don't care. You're annoying. Fuck off. Enjoy, my dear. Yeah, I'll enjoy. Fuck off. Oh. Another satisfied customer. I'm sure you'll be back. I'm sure you will. Yeah, shut up, bitch. Mm, what the fuck? This is a, it's actually, what the fuck? Dragon Boy, oh. try it. No. Oh, no. Ah, no, no. This isn't for anyone else but you. I'm not asking you fucking try it. Your hunger. Your hunger. The hunger compels you. Yes. I'm just gonna talk to you. <laughs> so where did you come from? All right. Draken. What the fuck's in this thing? Oh. Oh. The meat. Oh. The meat. The potatoes. The carrots. The peas. Just don't make me fucking hungry. Oh. Please. You've. Please. You've. You've never sampled anything so wonderful in your up. entire life. Mm. Oh. Why can you stay with this? Oh my goodness. Fucking so good. Hungry. So good. <laughs> so I don't have good. any food. Shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> so good. Draken, roll a d8. Oh, fuck you. Make your fucking evil name. <laughs> Draken, you Shall gain we'll... five temporary hit points. Oh, fuck yes. Damn it, I thought he was gonna get cursed. Oh. Sure did I. I didn't wanna fucking touch it. <laughs> Do you know how to add that to your sheet, Yep. Sure. Boom. By the way, uh, is anyone else going to join us at this tavern, or is it just going to no, be No, just the two of you. And just the two of, of us. <laughs> <laughs> you and I. Alright, and with that, we will shift to the other members of the party. Fuck you, I'm getting some crisps. Yeah, go ahead, man. Chow down. 
Nick, you made those pies sound too good, mate. That is bad thing. Yeah, I kind of want one now. I was over here, but I was fully water, and I was like, Jeez, I want a meat pie. I just want a wee scotch pie, dude. <laughs> a Scottish egg. God damn it. Oh. I could eat a scotch egg right now, actually. I could eat a scotch egg. Yeah, totally. So could I. There's a, there's a, there's a food festival going on at, uh, where I live at the minute, and like there was like these... Massive scotch eggs. I should have bought one. All right. So, uh, real quick, like in the handout section, I placed an image. Is that the crest that was on the letter for the guys? Yes or no? Yes. Cool. All right. Bernadette. Yeah. And. Is it Kados or Kados? Or Kados. tell me how. Kados. Kados. Yeah. All right. You find yourself at the house of Duchess Morwen of Daggerford. She's having guests for dinner, and both <laughs> of you have been invited. No strangers to Daggerford, you have come to the town's defense on more than one occasion. You count Lady Marwyn as a friend and a benefactor. A cool autumn breeze blows through the streets as you make your way to the keep and as you dine on hot, spicy soup and tenderly cooked pheasant. You can tell mm. the Duchess seems to be more of out of sorts than usual. Then a pall comes over the occasion as she voices her concern about a band of wayward travelers camped outside the town's walls. They seemed harmless at first, but Morwen has received reports that they have been harassing townsfolk and other visitors as they come and go, demanding money and wine and threatening to put a hex upon anyone who doesn't pay up. Yesterday, the Duchess ordered several guards to be to scare away the mysterious visitors, but they could not get the job done. When the guards returned, they spoke sympathetically about the visitors, almost as if they had been charmed. And Lady Marowen approaches... Bernadette and Cato. And she says, Ah, oh, oh my friends, it's so good that you should join us this evening for dinner. Does the food agree with you? It, it's, it is. it's very delicious. Thank you. Oh, it's, it's been so long since we've seen each other. Oh, I am so glad that you could attend this evening. I I regard you as one of the true champions of this city. Why thank you. I feel I feel very honored. Oh, the pleasure is mine, my dear. I'm I'm so sorry. To bother you and Kados with such a trivial matter. But if you would indulge me, these visitors, they, they just simply, they don't, they don't just, they just, they just don't belong. I hope you understand. They haven't done anything wrong, but I've been receiving complaints and, well, certain matters must be attended to. I, I must press upon you to, to ask these, these interlopers to, to move elsewhere. I mean, honestly, can you imagine common folk, people such as these, 
mingling amongst the good people of Daggerford? <laughs> I, uh, I think not. I think not. Please, please, give them a message on my behalf. That they need to move on. They do. They just, they just simply must go. And honestly, I mean, between you and I, between... This, this should not be spread as common knowledge, but honestly, if they do not be, do not leave before dawn, I'll burn their goddamn wagons to the ground. Mm. We'll see to it, my lady. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you, Kedos. I knew I could count upon you. As long as you don't go around burning people's wagons to the ground. We can't have that, now can we? No, 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 no. I mean, I could never be implicated in such atrocities. <laughs> even if it, you know, were to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, we, as, as I said, we'll see to it. Oh, I knew I could count upon you. You are, you are a champion, my dear. Thank you, my lady. Thank you. You can find those knaves just camped outside the city towards the west. You, you, you will take care of it directly, won't you? Of course we will. Ah, very good then. And she turns and begins to attend to the other guests at the dinner. Well, it appears our work is never done. Yes, yeah, so... Hmm. Oh, after you, my lady. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, let's go. And I take a, the la a last bite of the delicious food and stand up and excuse I'll, myself. I'll take one last swig of my drink and also make to move. Okay. As you ex exit the Duchess's villa, the town's guards give you direction to the camp just outside the city wall. Thank you. I guess we go there. Mm -hmm. Okay. On the way there, I'll say to Kaos, well, she could have been a little bit nicer about it, but I guess that's nobility for you. Yeah. It's it's just, I, I'm assuming it's just uh, that sort of higher uh, class sort of mm. on it. I mean, you... the problems seem to be real, like mm. these just don't want to leave or they're charming people and so on, but mm. yeah. A and you, you get the sense that although you have championed many incursions and have responded to the call for aid, that the Duchess regards you as nothing more than a hired hand. And as you exit outside the gates and begin a walk westward, the evening grows dark. You see a dozen men and women gathered around a crackling bonfire. The folk are in good spirits. A few of them sing and dance around the fire 
while others find happiness in their flasks and wineskins. Three barrel-top wagons are parked at odd angles, tied to a tree nearby, grazing, are half a dozen draft horses wearing bright coats with bangles and taxes. Tassels. An mm -hmm. older weasened man stands up from the, from the campfire and steps towards you and he says, Oh, hello, my friends. So good of you to come. Please sit by the campfire. Warm your bellies with food and drink. You are welcome here. Thank you. Ah. However, we were sent here by the Duchess. <clears throat> Kindly ask you to leave. Oh, don't, don't <coughs> worry. We have <coughs> no wish to make enemies, <coughs> Lady Marwan. I have a story to tell you both. First, you listen, and then, then we go. My <coughs> name is Stanimir. Okay, so what's your story? He fills his mouth with wine and then spits it into the fire. The flames turn from orange to green. As they dance and sway, a dark shape appears in the bonfire's core. We come from an ancient land whose name is long forgotten. A land of kings. Our enemies forced us from our homes and now we wander the lost roads the dark shape in the fire takes the form of a man being knocked from his horse a spear piercing his side Stanimir continues a night a wounded soldier staggered into our camp and collapsed we nursed his terrible injury and quenched his thirst with wine. He survived. When we asked him who he was, he would not say. All he wanted to was return to his home. But we were deep in the land of his enemies. We took him as one of our own and followed him back towards his homeland his enemies hunted him they said he was a prince yet we did not give up on him even when their assassins fell upon us like wolves deep in the dawn in the bonfire, you see the dark figure standing with sword drawn, fighting off a host of shadowy shapes. Do are there like any? shades that I recognize, like of creatures or something, or just people? This man of royal blood fought to protect mm -hmm. us as we protected him. Mm -hmm. We bore him safely to his home, and he thanked us. He, he said, I owe you my life. It's 
stay as long as you wish. Leave whenever you choose. And know you will always be safe here. The figure in the dancing fire vanquishes its final flow and then disperses in a cloud of smoke and embers. Stanimir's face becomes a somber mask. Oh. A curse has befallen our noble prince, turning him into a tyrant. We alone have the power to leave his domain. We have traveled far and wide to find heroes such as yourselves. A bony finger pointing to you and Kados. To our... Uh, to we, uh, mm. you need to end our dread lord's curse and put his troubled soul to rest. Our leader, Madam Ava, knows all. Will you return to Barovia with us and speak with her? What's, what is the prince's name? Dare not whisper it, even outside his realm. Can you write it down? Oh, his hands are trembling. Parchment, a quill. I will do it. Please, don't, don't say it out loud. Should we just they call him you know who or he who must not be named then? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he who shall not be named. The dark it's lord. not it's not Voldemort. <laughs> the Dark Lord. I mean this I, this was <laughs> this is basically a conversation between Hagrid and Harry, like I I can't <laughs> you, you can tell it right. I shouldn't now. have said that. The dark <laughs> lord, no. Our not it is the dark lord knows powers you do not Potter. <laughs> please my friend please won't you won't you travel with us you'll be safe you'll be safe so long as you travel with us we need help Mm. I grasp at my holy symbol, amulet, or whatever I'm carrying, and turn my thoughts inside. Ask my God if this is what He sent me out to do. Cause He, cause we, while we were having a talk one morning, like I don't know, just. He, he sent me a vision or some of a place full of fog that I was supposed to bring his light back to, if that's what he, what he was talking about. Bernadette, I will ask for a religion check unless there is something about your character that you would like to offer. Um, out of character, I have no idea what you meant by that. Okay, so I'm asking for a religion check, but if there is another ability on your character sheet that would provide a better chance for a uh, result you're looking for, uh, click on that. Mm. Not yet, I think. Okay. 
Divine intervention, that's what you mean. I think that's that's good. It comes higher up. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, just go ahead and give me an... Oh, okay. Mm. I'm not going to provide any spoilers to your deity. Mm -hmm. You hear a message from him. Yes, my child. Bring light to the land of darkness. Let the light of the morning, Lord, Shine upon the land. Okay. Can I, uh, like, try to get, like, some sort of read on this guy? See if he's, like, just feeding us a bunch of bullshit. Absolutely. Give me an insight check, please. There it is. Oh, fuck me. Everything he says no, is the truth. Hmm. What do you think? I think we should go. This is... This is my holy mission. Hmm. Well, I did remember, swear. Well, remember, I, I told you about it when I commissioned your we weapons and armor from you. Mm -hmm. I remember. Yeah, this is it. I, well, I did swear an oath to protect those who could not protect themselves. So, I guess I should join you. Thank you. I appreciate it very much, my friend. You're welcome, my lady. Stanimir motions to the second wagon in the caravan that is now being hitched by the draft horses that were refreshing themselves as they prepare to break camp and move out, fulfilling Duchess Morwen's request. It truly is a shame that neither of you asked for any sort of reward. Oops. I mean, I don't need a reward. Oh, kids asses. I'm a, I'm a good and kind soul. My name will be nice. Save those who cannot save themselves. Stanimir motions to the second wagon in the caravan and says, You will find <laughs> and security in that wagon. Uh, I guess I get in the wagon. Okay. I follow. Opening the door of the wagon and stepping inside, you are befuddled that the confines of the wagon are much more spacious than what you would understand to be I go back outside take a like a look around the wagon then return back inside and say to Kados it's bigger on the inside yes it appears so mm. yes for inside the wagon there are many comfortable couches with pillows and room for many more 
individuals that are now inside the wagon. You and Bernadette and an older woman clad in bright colored clothing a handkerchief around her head and numerous bangles on each wrist and a ring on every finger and the wagons lurch forward beginning to move and it is at this point that I will turn back to Thetsu. Aww. Thetsu. I think Fortune and Tonics is dead. Did everything's about to change? <laughs> you are plodding one foot in front of the other, your quarterstaff almost as a crutch in a unfamiliar and foreign land very disconcerting because this is not the type of countryside that you fell asleep in and from oh wait a minute do you continue with one foot in front of the other Please make a perception check. As soon as I find my mouse. <laughs> four, well, monitor, a... four monitors is really easy to lose your fucking mouse. Uh, perception. Which direction is he going? I think it was west on his head, correct me if I'm wrong, mate. You are correct. Woo! Woo! I am. Woo! Yeah. Indeed. From behind, from behind you, you can hear the sound of horses, multiple horses, clomping along the roadway. The grinding of the of wheels of wagons being pulled along the muddy road in the distant in the distance a murky light breaks the darkness first one then two and then a third are these lights coming towards me they are overtaking you from oh. behind then i will Kind of step off to the side rather than like sort of trudging the middle of the path. I'll kind of come off to the side so that way I'm on the side and kind of look and sigh before kind of putting my bag and pulling out a torch and just lighting it up. Then kind of use just like a bit of rope to. Well, I'll, I'll use the whole rope. I have rope, right? I don't think I have rope. You check One, your pack. I do, yeah, hemp and rope at the very bottom. I'll take my rope and I'll kind of tie the torch to the quarter staff, which I'm kind of using like a walking stick, and I'll just kind of let the... use that to hold that, like a sort of beacon. It's a quarter staff, it's like a quarter staff, like maybe eight foot or something. So, you know, that way there's a perpetual light that people can kind of see, so that way I don't get in the ash flattened. Or it could just be a very odd fence post. <laughs> the fence post, it's moving. The processions of a three wagon caravan approach. The, the lead wagon holding the reins is an older human gentleman, and he stops beside you and he says oh how weary traveler your dusty garments 
and where he looks betoken a man of a long journey. How may we, how may we be of assistance, far traveler? I walk here in this. Um, I walk in this area. I seem to be heading in the way that everyone else is heading. Could you tell me, however, where I am heading? <laughs> he lets out a laugh and takes a long pull from his wineskin. You are heading westward, my friend. Westward. Would you would you care to join our caravan? You'll be safe amongst us, my friend. In my knowledge, a man who has to say that I would be safe usually has a good intent. And I will oh. fire an NC check on that ship. Ah, oh, well spoken, well spoken. He speaks the truth. I have no NC check needed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I saw a percep. Oh, say, I'm sorry. When did I fire off a perception? I do apologize. No, man. Well, I no, I asked for a perception check. Uh, go ahead and give me the insight. Let's back that up a little bit. Ah, Thetsu, the old man at the reins, is looking at you straight forward. His eyes do not move left nor right, and he does not seem to be searching for the words to answer any of your questions. Now, I'm aware. I know I am headed west. However, where is West. I fell asleep in a land of humidity and odd noises, of birds squeaking and volcanoes erupting, and I awake here to steal the silence and cold. West is where, as for me, West was to a town, a city called Omo. <laughs> oh, my friend. Omu is nowhere near here. here hot is. is hot is cold. Left is right. West is east. Oh my friend. You are in the mists, aren't you? My friend, I tire of your riddles. I mean no disrespect. I understand. You are out of sorts. It has happened. To so many that has come before you. Come, come, come. Travel with us. You'll be safe. Do not doubt that, however, I still wish to know my current location. Where am I in respect to the world? You, my friend, my lost wayward soul, are on the road, the Svelich Road. Do you not know where that is? My friend, have give me, you give not me, been listening? I am lost. Give me a history check. <laughs> you have no fucking idea where you are. He's not in elsewhere that. anymore. Because <laughs> he sounds like a Khajiit. Sorry, I couldn't. Well, not in elsewhere anymore. Come, I mean you. I mean you no harm. Bullshit. I do not expect you... Bullshit. I do not expect you to trust me. After all, we are strangers in a strange land, on a strange road, surrounded by mists. Walk if you must. Walk if you must. But there is... There is room. If you choose... As I have in the carriage behind us. As I stated before, friend. Pardon me. As I stated before. Man just moves his fucking evil energy. As I have stated before, all I wish to know was your 
offer to join your caravan is tempting and I may take you up. I only ask, well, where am I? Please, understand. For oh. me, this is a land that will take some getting used to. I he hangs it. Human. His shoulders drop, his head hangs. He says, I grow so tired of going through this time and again, time and again. Do, buddy, do, buddy, understands. You, my friend, are on the village road. And what is the village's name? We are traveling westward to Barovia. Initially, give me a give me give me yeah. give me a history check. Oh fuck me! That's a not one. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, no. uh, um, Matthew, you better call it territory. Try as you might, um, in in all of the lands that you have heard of, adventured in, and researched, you've never heard of Barovia. It sounds great. Initially, hearing this man's way, the grip on the staff tightens to wait before finally getting the answer of Barovia. So he kind of looks up with almost relenting eyes as if this whole interaction was torture. He kind of looks at the man. This village you speak of. How far is it? Whilst I do wish to take up your mode of transport and get to know where I am a little bit more. I firstly feel knowing how long it will be until we are there, and secondly, some form of introductions. I am Setsu, and you are? No. Oh, hand up. yes, yes, greetings, greetings. I am Stanimir, Stanimir, yes, all. Oh. It is such a pleasure to meet you, Thetsu. Ah, a lone traveler on the on the road to, on the Svelich road, heading towards Barovia. Yes, you are welcome. Please, please, make yourself at home. Make yourself comfortable. My friend, where I am from. Far from comfortable, but your hospitality is a welcome breeze. You say there is room in the back? Yes, yes, the second, second wagon just behind mine. Please climb in, make yourself at home. Thank you, Kathy. And I'm going to take the quarter staff, I'm just going to flip it round and stick the torch end into the the mud and dirt to extinguish it before unraveling my rope, throwing it back in the bag and just walk into the second ta uh, I was say second tank, the second caravan wagon you know, open the inside it's got sort of the curtains open with wild abandon alright Stepping, opening the door and stepping inside, you see two other human, three other humanoids. <laughs> and without uh, ruining everything, at this point, Tetsu steps into the company of. Bernadette and Kados. I am going to call for a quick five minute break. Oh, thank God. My back teeth are swimming. Yeah, you and me both. And um, I'll I'm be back in five Bring. minutes. Okay. Let's go, guys. Yeah, yeah, I can go put my butter away. <laughs> Just remember.
I've got a mug upstairs that I left up here. I made um, myself uh or situated. I mean, Cody sent me that in Snapchat. Mike was waxing poetic about those fucking pasties, and like Cody goes and makes himself a fucking sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi. So, if you got this far, you already heard the issues I'm talking about with the weird. <sighs> I'll just quickly explain since this is an intermission point. The camera sits atop my PC, which has an intake fan, and it never used to record audio. And now it started recording audio. However, um, I have now fixed it, so it should not be an issue. And as you can see right now, we are editing the intermission. So, let's get back to it, shall we? Okay. Just you, mate. All right, here we go. Brace yourselves, everybody. Um, Bracing for impact? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Step two. Stepping into the back of the carriage. You see two individuals seated upon plush couches surrounded by comfortable pillows. And an older woman Rita Splendid in colorful robes with a number of gold bangles on each wrist and a ring on each finger. The caravan lurches forward, beginning their journey westward. And it is at this point that I will turn to Draken and Selka. Having exited the tavern and beginning the march on the Svelich roads, surrounded by mists in the dark of night. We, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 what? You, we, didn't we agree that we were staying until morning? believe the dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Um, the innkeeper offers you a spot on the floor next to the fire as the room is filled with pain customers and there are no other rooms to be had. But you can sleep next to the fire in a chair or on the floor as you wish. I'm just gonna lay on the floor next to the fireplace. The roar, the uh, the evening passes without a vent. Patrons leave, and you awaken to a dim sunlight breaking through the windows to the clank of dishes mugs and tankards being cleared from the tables and washed in preparation for the next day's patronage. The barkeep behind the bar looks at you and says, Ah! They awake from their slumber. Was that the same person? Because that went from, like, a cheerful person to ominous. Um, the, the person that paid for your drinks has left. The person behind the bar kind of is indifferent, regards you with a uh, certain degree of dis disdain that, uh, you know, you're sleeping on our floor. Friggin' get out. Is Draken still here? Oh yeah, yeah he's, he's there. 
Then I'm just going to go find him. Knock on his door. Oh, there's no door to be had. He is uh, in the same ro uh, room as you, the the tavern floor, so to speak. Where, whether he's in a chair or sleeping on the floor is his choice. I'm sleeping in a chair in the farthest back corner of the room. With a half-burned cigarette almost down to his knuckles. I'm just going to tap his chair with my foot twice. That will snore in a way. Yo, ah. Ah. Something rouses you from your slumber. Mm -hmm. This annoying, annoying individual. What do you want, Dragon Boy? It's morning. I don't give a fuck as I throw my cigarette at him. <laughs> don't wake me up. Get up at my seat, stretch, and go. Get a drink. The cigarette. The cigarette impales upon your armor, bouncing off your breastplate in a shower of sparks, the butt of it falling upon the floor. I'm just going to dust off the thing, the dust, whatever was left on the breastplate. Are we leaving now, or? or? Let me get a drink of water first. Ask the barkeep for a small glass of water. They are fully fed up with our ship. Yeah, I know, but I'm not asking for a drink. I'm getting war. Give me a perception check. Yep, give me a few seconds. Come on, Koi. Give him the res. Or don't give him the res. Your choice. <laughs> the barkeep <laughs> slides a glass, uh, a glass of water towards you. Thank you. As you quaff it down... I have a feeling that you either spit or pissed in the cup. You barely notice the saliva that has been added to your <laughs> beverage. <laughs> I fucking knew it. You need to clean your fucking tops, dude. All right, let's go. I've drank I'm, worst. I have already made it out the door by the time you said it's let's go. Let's go, Dragon Boy. Let's get the fuck... Selkath is waiting outside the door on the muddy street that passes by the <coughs> travel establishment leading from east to west. What's with this bar called, anyway? With a gleam in his eye. The bar? The bar yep. is called the Dragon's Foot. Charming. Well, I just had that as maybe thanks in part, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, I didn't pull that from my ass at all. The Dragon's Foot, I would have expected to, for it to be called the Shining Toenail. Everyone's, <laughs> everyone's a critic, what can I say? Okay, the Shroid, what do we see? Um, leaving from the travel house on the road that extends from east to west, you can see that this road is very well traveled. Mm hmm East to west, west to east. Okay. Dragon Boy, what are we going? Right. East it was, correct? I believe so. I don't fucking know. I wasn't listening. That's your job. You know what? You go. I follow you. I'll just sit, I'll, I'll just, I'll just yeah. sit here, drink my war, play my axe. I'll well, just follow you. It was east. I remember that. we. Ha I start walking east. Follow the dragon. All right. 
traveling eastward for three or four hours. Draken. Mm -hmm. You feel a rumble. A rumbly in your tumbly. I would oh. like you to give me mm -hmm. Constitution Saving Throw. Absolutely. Hangover. Woo! Ah. Your temporary hit points are gone. You. Bench. You're like, oh. Mm. Jesus. Another one of those meat pies sure would hit the spot. But. <laughs> We're on this road and there's none around and I really, really enjoyed the buff and more importantly, the happy dreams of your childhood that surrounded you while you slept in slumber uninterrupted. Oh, yes, the childhood that my mother orphaned me and sold me for money. I became a criminal. Yeah, well, you know. Very happy. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> and, no, uh, the one where you the guy in the nuts. That part. I would like either of you, one or the other, to roll a perception check, please. Uh, you can do it. Okay. Wait, that's persuasion. Yep, yeah, it sure is. Boop. Inside. Close, it starts with the P. Okay. Uh, there we go. So as you travel upon the road eastward, in the distance, you see through the veiled fog three horse drawn carriages approaching what is this? and as they get closer what do you do? I can I just walk up to uh, Silkath and put my hand on his shoulder and go what the fuck are they? Horse-drawn carriages, I assume. What the fuck's a horse-drawn carriage? How drunk are you? Are you fucking shitted? Um, yes. Uh, you see, it's a big wooden box that has wheels on it that has a horse pulling it. Oh, we just read in the horses where I come from. We didn't have the big fucking wooden thing. We couldn't have anything like that because it'd get stolen and sold. The, so just uh, I just look at you disappointed. Oh, I come from a family of fucking criminals. Leave me alone. This is awesome. The first carriage approaches watching two humanoids having this conversation slash argument. He goes, Ah, Hello, weary travelers. Would you consider to, to joining our caravan? Yep, just stop, stop right there. <laughs> oh, 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 well, uh, my apologies. Did I offend you in some way, my friend? Not at all. You are just very creepy. Can I ask what they're wearing? Um, they are wearing bright colored clothing. Can I look at who else is with them? Specifically the guy who spoke to us, what's he wearing? Um, Anything that would stand out and make it easy to pick one? Make it... I'm, I'm sorry, I said make it easy, and then the last thing you said... <laughs> I speak fucking English, dude. What the fuck did you just say? Is there anything that would stand out of the one who was talking... Like, easily just rip the piss out of them for Make fun um, of him. Looking to okay. build his character. 
Okay. I want to be thank a Billy. Please don't. Thank, thank you, Scottish. He's an older man clad in oh. bright colored clothing with white hair and a white goatee. And he says, oh, oh, two more weary travelers upon the road. Won't you join our caravan? No, thanks, no. Grandpa. I'm good. Oh, you do know it's not safe to be upon the road alone. Here Where we are go. you going? Um, west, west towards my friends, too. Oh, we're I'm going not... east, sorry. I'm sorry? We're are going, going east. to the town or just west? We, we are traveling west. You are going east. I fear you may be headed in the wrong direction. But who am I to say? I mean, some I'm... big gangly fucking dude that I don't fucking know told me to go east, so that fucking idiot convinced me to go. Uh, yes. no. Uh, you know what? Actually, you fucking moron. The guy in the bar said travel west, and you went the opposite way. And all of a sudden, that 15 watt light bulb in the refrigerator blinks on in your head went fuck I'm going the wrong way uh, so blame the dragon okay wait which way did he actually say west <laughs> you dumb fuck but you decided to travel east I'm sorry okay no, it's fine. We I all make mistakes. Oh, oh, like oh, oh, oh. burnt the fucking letter. Oh, Close my it. friends, we all make. We all. Yeah, we can't always make the right decisions, now can we? We'll please, get in your cart. Please Wait. come, come, come. Join our happy, happy caravan. There's room for you in the. Wagon just behind us. Can I look in that wagon to see what's in there? An orgy happening. The, uh, oh, gee. <laughs> you don't want to know how hard I am right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Um, uh, the curtains on the, the curtains on the windows are closed. I think that's how I want to leave this right now. And... There is a door at the back of the wagon. <clears throat> Should you choose to open it. Yo, shit. who's also in this carriage? Oh, I know you're not referring to me as the dipshit. No, 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 the guy is trying the old guy. That's how you get Billy. Sorry. Oh, oh. My name is Stenemir. Not dipshit, you. Oh. His name is Richard. Sorry. For short, you can just call him Dick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey. I I I curry. I can't see in front of him having. Hey, Dick. So we've fuck just face. we've just met Stanimir. Fuck tired. Sorry. Fuck face. There are. Can you three... two either kiss or just get on with the fighting? Shut three... up, Dragon Boy. Three <laughs> other, three other weary travelers. In the wagon, along with our matriarch. Pretty you know what? Fuck it, I'm going. Yeah, why not? I'm just gonna get in the carriage. So, mate, let's go. Come back to this ship. Perfect. Perfect. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are safe. You are safe as long as you travel. Yeah, Ram, with us. You got any beer? Be polite. Climbing, climbing into the back of the carriage. There are now the five of you. Yo, and, it's good. And an el older woman. This would be a good point to introduce yourselves to everyone. Bernadette, would you care to go first? Oh, all right. Um, well, when you enter the 
wagon, you can see a young woman with black hair and light green eyes. Her demeanor exudes confidence and strength. Her long black hair is pulled back into a tight braid that hangs down her back, em emphasizing the sharp features of her face. Her light green eyes gleam with a sense of purpose and hinting at the determination that is driving her at the moment. She's dressed in a silver chainmail armor that fits her like a second skin. And um, her the armor is adorned with the symbol of Lathander, as well as her shield. And she has a holy symbol that lies on her chest. But be so that's that's her, yeah. Okay. Kados. Okay, so uh, uh, that across from Bernadette, you can see a uh, young male tiefling uh, who, for lack of better terms, looks pretty much physically flawless. You know, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's just got he's got extremely long dark blue hair, uh, yellow eyes with red slayers. Uh, pale grey still like almost silver more grey silver almost white even skin and uh, yeah just very very good looking young man and uh, around his neck you can see the a small necklace with the symbol of tear on uh, god of justice on it Very nice. Draken. Uh, as you, as I trapping up with Bip, I kind of just smile and nod my head at everyone uh, as, as you look upon me. A relatively tall, pale with flowing white hair, just regular looking human walking, uh, mostly black. Um, with a couple rips in it at my biceps and on my chest holding a big axe and just looking a bit confused because I thought the guy was lying Excellent Selkath uh, As I step into the carriage you see rather large golden dragonborn green eyes and what looks to be ceremonial uh, church robes, but that have been altered for ease, ease of use, ease of uh, movement when traveling. All right. As before, we continue. I'd say uh, this is Richard. Uh, you can just call him Dick for short. And this <laughs> is Dragon Boy. He only responds to Dragon Boy. That's if you awesome. call him anything less, you can go fuck punch yourself. you in the face. That's awesome. That is awesome. Fetsu.
No, I hate this guy. Not you, but if you're not friends and they're not friends of you and I'm not friends of them, <laughs> then we're not friends, but companions. Enter uh, Dick and the Dragon Boy. <laughs> and the two. And use are actually. Silence! <laughs> fools! <laughs> the old woman arises from her slumber at the head of the carriage. Her old hand clears off the table. Glasses, plates, forks and knives clattering upon the floor. Oddly enough, her crystal ball ball Blah, 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 blah. does not move. She says, Ah, oh, finally, finally, you are still, you are held here. Oh, oh, it does my heart good to see a group of champions at long last. Perhaps we may shall be freed. Is this something you foresaw, Elder? Draws his uh, body's narrow. Uh, help, help me out. Who just said that? Fetzer. No, no, before that. No one said Some... anything, just me. Just yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's who. Which gives you your first shiver down your spine that she even knows your name. No, I give Having... my name to the guy at the front of the car. Oh, oh. You think yourself so smart. Even though you never really fit in. Always the outcast. Oh, <laughs> the cards, the cards. You'll tell the truth. Speak to us, old one. Now, I'll meet your maker soon. I think, uh, I think Kados in this like moment, as he's watching, like just all this go down, and just gonna like step over towards Bernadette, just make sure she's well protected. I'm just chilling in the corner, sleeping. Ah. My I'm meditating. Friend, my friends, sit, sit, sit. There will be no harm come of you. So Drop long, that. so long as you travel with us, you, you have my word. Trust, trust in me. May I ask my newfound traveling companions? Does anyone have any idea who these people are that require our trust? What's your name as a group? Um, I'm here to help some random person. Not you, oh. the old woman who demands our trust to travel with them. Yet we know not who they are. Who I mean, my apologies, my dear, my dear. Please, please, do not get upset. I am Ava. I am Ava, your friend, your friend. And these cards you speak of. Ah, yes. Oh, 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 the cards. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you for reminding an old woman of what can be, what shall be, what could be. Ah! Not getting any younger. Speed it up. Wow. Scottish, you dick. <laughs> mm. Scottish, how could you? Yo, I got a relatively short lifespan here, all right? And I'm yeah. 30. <laughs> no, I totally get it. But she reaches into... Oh, shit. She reaches into... Oh, yeah, darkness, guys. Woo! Yeah, woo! Happy day! Hello, darkness, my old friend! <laughs> I've come to talk to you again. I love it. 
Harmonize. Because Harmonize, you motherfuckers. Yeah. Left my while I, was I love it. I love it. Yes, we shot. That was Still we remain. Yes. Within our own. I love Very. <laughs> Very yes 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 yes. yes, 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 yes. yes. Obviously, yeah. the stub version because they did it way better than Simon and Garfunkel did. Oh, All right, so, okay. <laughs> she not even a kitchen. She reaches. Madam Ava reaches into a drawer and pulls out a deck of cards and begins to shuffle them in her bony fingers. So tempted to play my deck of cards for this. And which one? Do it. The, the actual Takota deck from Curse of Shroud. Yep. Do it. Do it. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. It doesn't matter. Flex the drip. Flex the drip. It doesn't matter what he does. Mm-hmm. I'll flex the drip afterwards. Don't worry, guys. Mm-hmm. And she says, Oh, oh my dears. My dears. Oh. Let me help you, guide you through this troubling and turbulent time. And she pulls out a card and she lays it upon the table. The abjurer? Yes. And she goes, oh, very, very very interesting, my friends. What does this mean? I see a fallen house guarded by a stone dragon. Look to the highest peak. And she reaches to the deck, pulling out another card. The Conjurer. The Conjurer. Uh, I see a dead village drowned by the river. Ruled by one who has brought great evil into the world. Oh, I'm not sure that you will survive that one. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My, my bad. She said a fallen house, a stone dragon, and about looking to the highest peak. No, she says we won't survive. She's not told us what these cards are for yet, however, friend. She She pulls forth the the third card, saying, Oh, I see a kneeling woman, a rose of great beauty, plucked too soon. The master of the marsh knows whom, whom whom I speak. Pulling a fourth deck from the cards. Fourth card from the deck? I'm putting it in handouts right now for someone. And I see someone, she knows who will have this mm-hmm. notated because she is like the yeah. world's greatest fucking notator. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. if, I'm oh, if you I'm know, you know. Saying. If you know, you know. Got our oh, own note. Finally, a little, a little relief for you, poor. Yes. Fuck off, you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scotty. Ah. I'm sorry. 
little relief for you poor fucking souls, except for Tetsu, because he can go fuck himself. Everyone except you, you asshole. <laughs> poor dude. <laughs> right. Anna wanders this world alone, searching for her oh. mentor. She does not stay in one place for long. Seek her at St. Markova's Abbey, near the mists. <laughs> and fuck you, Thetsu. Guys, guy, motherfucker. Oh. Uh, that that caught me so off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I was rocking on my chair and fell back. <laughs> my laptop fell on me. Ah, the final, the final card. I see a secret place, a vault of temptation. <laughs> oh, that was in the show point. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Sorry, a vault, of, a vault of temptation and behind a woman of great beauty. The evil waits atop his tower of treasure. These cards are they're the way out of these lands. The old woman <clears throat> collapses, head down, chin upon her chest. Driver, the woman is dead. Rolling over to the side, <laughs> back upon her cushions, sleeping, obviously exhausted. <clears throat> are the cards still on the table? They are. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them. <laughs> they can be fucking useful. I'm gonna take them, alright? I'm gonna take them. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm only gonna take the cards as the. I'm only gonna take the cards that we've been given face side up. I'm gonna leave her with her whole deck. That would be, you know, what was left of her whole deck, you know? And I'm checking my. <coughs> I have a pen and ink. Hey, this is going to give you a disapproving look as you do this. I have a pen and ink, but I don't have paper, so I'm going to kind of look round at my new friend, friends. She's made a big deal of these cards, and it feels... You know, you may look at me disappointing. We, I am not from here. I know not I'm not yours, but I am not from here. If these cards are our way to escape, we should maybe write down what she said about them and take the cards to be safe. After all, she's asleep. And though it may seem weird and coincidental that they have picked all of us up out of nowhere together, now, now something may seem off to me. Something seems off to myself. What about to yours? Do you feel odd? I fell asleep and woke up here. And the only thing that feels odd is that you're stealing from an old woman. It's not stealing, it's merely borrowing without a date of return. So you saw what else fucking gets up? I mean, That's could you mean. just copy the cards? If you want to Again, text do you have, so badly? If, if you have paper, by all means. I packed a quill and I'm going to slap it down. And ink, I'm going to slap that down. But I did not bring paper with me. Because I guess I was dropped as a child. Mm, that wasn't very smart of you then. I have it? a prayer book. We can maybe scratch the cards in the back. I don't know if any paper I don't carry that shit. Well, you're going to be happy if we use that? What about you? I'm going to point to the Dragonborn. Uh, Tess, you're going to point to the Dragonborn. Do you have paper? I, in fact, do. May I borrow your paper to scratch down any information here? 
Mm-hmm. I passed them a piece of paper. Thank you, our friend. And I didn't quite catch your name. I am once again said soon. I'm gonna take the paper with my right hand, gonna reach under with my left hand to shake your hand. So okay. and before you can have a chance to speak, I put my hand on shake. His name's Dragon Boy. If I, I asked for your opinion, I'd give you it. I yes, just sir. move okay. him. I just move his hand slightly off the side and properly shake your hand. Selka. That's all. I'm gonna make a rough note of the cards. I say rough because Michael probably asked me to roll a slight of hand check, and he ain't here at the moment. So you know, a rough checking, and I'll place the paper down inside the. So. We should maybe get to know each other a bit better. If she's given us all this reading, then we are in this together. So, I ask you, my friend Selkak, where are you from? You seem to come with this one. I'm gonna gestures nonchalantly towards Draken. Where are you? Uh, How did you get here? Uh, well. I came here due to the fact of my journeys to help whoever I can. I just happened to be at the, at, in the bar at the same time he did, as he was dropped a letter that I have no idea why it was given to him to go help someone who has a dying wife. Uh, yeah, I was at a fucking four day bender. <laughs> yeah, wasn't looking I, good for me. And, I, and uh, some big. Goth looking fuckers just came and went, take this, meet me at this place at this time. And I was just gonna like, uh, no. But then this motherfucker and some, some god thing on me, and now I'm here. I'm just smiling blankly. I'm, I've, I'm still drunk, I still don't know what the fuck's going on. What is your actual name? Draken. Shut the fuck up, Dragon Boy. Draken. Draken. Dick. Uh, Sal. Salak. Um. Dragon Boy. Right? We'll, we'll get on that. And the you is gonna wave my hands towards Bernadette and Kados. And your names are. I point over to Kados, Demon Boy. Does anyone have a gag? Maybe yeah, I look, I look, I look, I did. look right. to Ben or Ben and I go, you look too nice, I'll be nice to you. The same with you, Ben, I point to the Zetsu, you look nice as well. Don't know why, but you're giving off a nice vibe. You two are assholes, uh, Kados and Silka. I suggest you refrain from petty nicknames with me. Shut up, demon boy. I said bye and start smoking. If you wish to keep your head. Again, does anyone have a gag? As, as he says that. that. But we, are, we must get along at this point. I feel we are all in this together. So I ask once more to the lady, your name, and how you came to be here in the back of this wagon with this gesture towards the passed out gypsy lady. I um I am Bernadette. I'm a cleric of the Thunder, and was sent here on a holy mission. Hmm, a woman of faith, I see. Your friend. He is my friend and protector, Kados. Kados, what do you do for a living? Mm, I'm a blacksmith. I also. Uh, I'm a humble t uh, servant of Tear, and go around protecting those that I deem cannot protect themselves in every situation. And my current mission is to protect Lady Bernadette. Nick, I see that you said you're back. Um, I was given paper from, I'm going to say Selark, but I could be wrong. You want to repeat that when we say hi? Um, you've got to take my moment to get it, unfortunately, mate. Nope, no worries. Selketh. Selketh, cool. Uh, I took paper from Selketh and used my quill and... Uh, used my quill and ink 
to take a notation of how the cards looked. I don't know if you want me to roll for that or such. And kind of like no. you know, the order they came in, one, two, three, four, five, and a rough nope. descriptor of what she said. What I will do at the end of this session is I will post the card reading. Already done it. In Okay. Well, for, well, fuck me, dude. But more, but more official, like like the correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I gave what I could. All right, I've been drinking. All right, you get, you get what you fucking get. <laughs> well, oddly enough, lad, lade, so have I. So, <laughs> I'll probably post it this evening. Maybe tomorrow when my bleary eyes uh, are clearer. But uh, that way, the entire party can have the card reading to reference because it's ingrained in your memories but after a day and a half travel through the day on through the night and into the next morning the caravan of wagons travel along this Zvelich road. And you are all jostled awake by the sudden halt of the carriages. Stanimir throws open the back door of the carriage that you are riding and he says, Ah, oh, my friends, we are here, we are here. My apologies. Is here the village of Barovia that you spoke of? No, 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 my friends. You are at the gates of Barovia. Oh, yes. My apologies. I cannot... We cannot take you any further. We are to drop the supplies. And you, at the gates, as my master wishes. We shall be returning soon. Your master... Oh, yes. you, never men- you never mentioned a master before. It's the prince that's under the curse that they asked the ah. You shall not be named, he whispers ah. into your ear. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Forgive ah, me. Yes. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's don't need to piss your pants. Although, it no. might be appropriate. <laughs> I jest. I jest, my friends. We will be back soon. We will be back soon. You can find us. Camped in Tizerpool, we fulfill our next master's will and pleasure. Oh, I cannot wait to hear the stories that you tell. Oh, it is. It is going to be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Tell me, do we have any way of contacting you? Oh, you don't need to contact us. We will find you. How? Definitely not on this at all. Understand, this is my people's way to be unseen until it is too late. So tell me, how will you try? Friends, there is seldom few things that happen within the gates of Barovia that our master does not let us know what is going on. Oh, we are very, very, very well informed. Trust me, my friends. Stick with us and you will be very well protected. Um, I need to ask who speaks a vessel. Uh, nope. Not me. Speak infernal, not vessel. I'm nope. Gonna mutter something off in a vessel. You see yourself sounds more like a <laughs> like a. Oh, ah, oh, my friends, my friends, my friend. Oh, Fendi. Ne- ne- Something cut in my throat, don't worry. Do you have a little, I mean, <laughs> stuck in your throat? It was a bumpy ride. It 
can I say? Oh, my apologies. I will see if we might uh, tend to the suspension of the wagon for um, future. I mean, uh, um, um, you need at least twenty-four inch spinners and a fleek sound system. <laughs> What? Oh, Jesus! Oh, I'll take Blue that into it. I'll take that into it. There was surround account. sound. Family oh. means everything. Ah, yes. Family. Yes. yes. Okay, my friends. Be well, be well. Uh, the gates, the gates are just, just there, my friends. I, oh, my good, good friends. I must be off. I must be off. They say... Farewell, farewell. Enjoy your time away, friends, and hopefully we meet again under better circumstances. How do the gates look as I step out of the wagon? Well, that's an excellent question. Thank you. I strive on asking excellent questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rat, you ruddy bastard. If I were sober, I would not ask nearly as much questions, all right? You just caught me on a day where Sunday is my day off. No, this entire week is my day off. Okay. Excellent. I always have a day off. Well, some of us ain't as lucky as you. I, w I wish I could I'm, have a tail. I don't feel lucky most of the time, though. So, as you exit the carriage, and forgive my moronic dogs for barking in the background. I don't hear no dogs. Well, shit, you're deaf as fuck. You failed. The fucking squirrels are back. <laughs> no, in fairness, I can't hear any either. Yeah, I heard not, the symbolism of mutters. So. Exiting the carriage and looking around, the fogs spill out of the forest to swallow up the road before you. Ahead, jutting from the impenetrable, impenetrable. Thank you. Woods on both sides of the road. I'm like a few drinks in. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. But oh, you're the solo zero. one here. You can yeah. pronounce it. Oh, I, I, I actually say hi is underage, so say hi is also sober. Sky doesn't count. <laughs> I'm, Dragon Boy doesn't count. I'm unwillingly sober. <laughs> Being drunk runs in my family. I'm, I'm willingly sober. Okay. Yeah, fuck, I'm not the one. Uh, Here's a toast to being sober. <laughs> I don't I don't need to drink to be crazy and to be chaotic. Yeah, I'm just you like, mean see my dungeon of so. the Mad Mage sessions, alright? She's sober and she says that shit. So, <laughs> I mean I I have more I respect of it, I understand what you mean now. Yeah. Um, okay. uh, at, at the same point I don't need the drink either to be insane. Mate, as you're trying to say, we do apologize. Oh, allow me one more time. I took another honk off the drink. A head mm -hmm. jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. And I think, yeah, there might be a... Hey, I've been too much of a buzz to end this now, so if you end this now, I'm walking in me and kicking your ass. What, really? Okay, I like that. I like that. Uh, would the image so we're end it now. Would the image you're depicting be the one that's currently showing on Sinnerscape out of curiosity? Yes, it would. Ooh. Boom! Ooh! Y'all are cheating, I can't see it. I, I I'll be honest, I I've, I've got Cursor Strad open here in D&D Beyond and I can't find a 
I can't find Gates of Barovia. And I'm, I'm too far gone to give a fuck. <laughs> be honest with you. So yeah, unless we get hit with a handout, you're you're lost, guys. Rip. I have not. I have. I, have, I do not have a handout. Check your general. I think is all a little up. Oh fuck! Not two for one, right? I, I see where it's at. I got competition. All right. Jeez. Uh, As you beat into it. Oh, nice. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me get down to the. the I'm gonna get more ice. Don't worry. Well, she's All doing right. that, I'm gonna put my phone in charge. Big brain. <laughs> so, as you exit the carriage and begin walking towards the gates, you find a dead corpse just off the roadside lying in a pool of dried blood. I help! Did I lose everybody? Yes. No. 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 Yes. No. Yes. Okay. So, I'll I'll repeat it again. Um, everybody should see a map of a road with a dead body. Yep. Yep. That's mm -hmm. the one. Whatever happens, so, I help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it. I'm helping. I'm a helper. I punched. Uh, like not. So, the gates are to the south. And there's this dead body lying in a pool of dried blood. Does it look like it's been it's been there a while or is it like fresh? Give me a perception check from where you are standing. With advantage, because I said I'm helping. Oh, he does really. well, I mean, oh, it's the yeah. same. It's the same yeah. anyway, so... Yeah, it's a 14 or a 14, you... Right, but I was in the hallway. <laughs> you, you, you Scottish bastard. You're just jealous um, that I've read the player's handbook, motherfucker. Motherfucker! <laughs> From where you stand, Bernadette, the body is not yet bloated but the pool of blood is dry uh, i forgot to get a tonic but what i'll do is um straight shots of gin oh no no fuck that noise burns uh, but what i will do however um, take I... a shot chew an olive you'll be fine i don't have olives i'm I was about to say, I was about to say something, like, I'm white, but, like, if you said that, you're also white. Um, I would like to, if it's okay with the DM, do a medicine check to ascertain how long this body has been dead for. I can help with that. Thank you. So, since this is the first time we've played, uh, Bernadette, if you would like to lend the help action, you cannot stand... Back where you are, huh. do so. Um, I want to quickly take a, a jumping back on this one. Um, I recall from conversation that Say Hi's token should look different from this. Yes. Oh, well, that's because the DM Forgot. May, okay. I've been there. may or may not have done a little prep before time beforehand so um my apologies yeah um not really what i'll do is given that i have been given the help action from my friend who my 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 traveling companion who is giving me guidance you know maybe pat me in the back and going 
it normally packed the HP at least be at the centre from Shepherds we shall be from the level of three. And I will run a medicine check with one D four because guidance. To ascertain oh that's a fucking one. So uh medicine check, dirty twenty, plus guidance for twenty one to find out how long this body has been dead and I will relay that information to my friends, however, to the DM, uh, as I'm relaying that information, I will try my hardest to avoid the letter S for Sierra. Alright, Tetsu, you, kn you know from your previous experiences, traipsing through the jungle, that the body that lies before you has not yet bloated. Yet neither does it have rigor mortis. Nor is it still warm. And you understand, understand that a fresh kill would still be warm and then we'll progress to rigor mortis and then after that rigor mortis passes before the bloat sets in you can tell that this fresh kill is a day or two old this how body how Oh, sorry. Nope. However, there we go. There we go. I knew I could find it somewhere. Ba -bum. That's not it. Got a couple of handouts for you. And that meantime, during that, I will convey. The body has been here 24 to 48 hours. Uh, it is not quite stiff, but rather, and I'm going to use my quarter staff to lift the arm to show it like immediately flopping. Uh, not hard yet. Give it maybe another 24 to 48 hours, and it will be. This is fresh, but it is rather, rather new. By new, you mean in the last, what, 12 hours? 10? Less than two days has passed, friend. Right. However, mm. that would mean that something may be around Stalia Um, I don't want to alarm you guys, but there's three greys over there. Three what? Three what now? Graves. Oh. oh. As in three tombstones that look relatively fresh. That's so. Yes. In probing the corpse, as you flop it over onto its back, you see a piece of parchment pinned to its chest with a dagger. The dried um, blood, the dried blood, blood stain fastening it in place. I have two questions, one of which I should 100% know is a DM, but let's blame the alcohol. A dagger is a simple weapon, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to take the dagger as my own. So uh, I you may, could put a dagger add, in my inventory. Add uh, that to your inventory. Brother and, casually takes my other weapon. Hey, 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 don't you fucking judge me. I, don't you judge me. I have a quarter staff and I know how to bonk it. <laughs> And I will, um, I'll also rip the note. Okay. You know, 
rip the note off and turn round to a better light to see if I can read it much better. He's gonna you know, hold it up. You can you can read it. Um, not sure how to play this as the, as the DM. Read it I to can. Me, Blanc, Chief. Read it to me, Blanc. All right. So, Tetsu stands up, grabs this piece of parchment, unfolds it, right, and looks at it, and begins to read. And unless he shares it with the party... Pass the information to me in a private message, maybe on Discord, and All right. I'll take a read at it, and then... Yep. Um, I, uh, I will play it, and it's up to you. I will happily allow anyone to contest a perception roll against my slate of hand to see whether or not they catch a glimpse as to what it says. Okay. If that's something you will allow. Yeah, I will totally allow it. Then, uh, good news for all of you. My slate of hand, not very good. Versus <laughs> perception. <laughs> Versus perception. I mean, I'm standing right next to you, so, yeah. yeah. Not going to... Hold yeah, everyone sees it. I'm holding the letter up to the air. It, yeah. It's at this. It, it's at this point that I'm going to do this. <laughs> I will look at it, and though all those who are here can read it, I can't read that. Hail thee to might and valor! I, the burgomaster of Barovia, send you honor with despair. My adopted daughter. The fair Irina Kolyana has been these past nights bitten by a vampire. For over 400 years, this creature has drained the lifeblood of my people. Now my dear Irina languishes and dies from an unholy wound caused by this vile beast. He has become too powerful to conquer. So I say to you, Give us up for dead and encircle this land with the symbols of good. Let the holy men call upon their power. That the devil may be contained within the walls of weeping Barovia. Leave our sour sorrows to our graves and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth, wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we have all departed for a better life. Kolion Indirovich, Burgomaster. So, though, um, though I'm unaware, um, a character I know that both Bernadette and Kados have very quickly grasped that. I'm going to take the letter, because I'm holding it up. I'm going to you know, fold it in half once again, fold it in half once more, going to place it in my pocket. Um, I've rolled you a religion check DM separately, privately. Um, I've also DM'd you the name of the god that I follow, and you know the information of me. Uh, Bernadette has given the information earlier freely, out of character though. Would I be aware who her god is, is what I'm questioning with the roll that I got. And she said it's on her shield and she has a medallion of it. Roll me a religion check, please. I did, and it was oh, a six. Did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 the bread makes me poop. <laughs> you got, That's a big cross. Fuck those what that means, y'all. Yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing. I will take the letter, you know, as I said, I will kind of hold it with three fingers, immediately fold it in half before folding it in half once more and placing it in my pocket. How well versed are you on the sanguine? Sanguine. Bracken and Salka. Give me a perception check. Yep. Oh, that's beautiful. 
Twenty. Yep. Uh, where? Where's Draken? Corey, perception check, bro. Sorry, I was watching something there. Sorry, babes. Love you. Autism, autism kicking him over then. Perception check. Perception. Uh, perception that uh, uh, nope, that's there we go. Boom. Fuck. Alright. Um, um Selka. Now roll me a intelligence ability check. Had to pick intelligence. <laughs> Tot <laughs> totally. You got this, mate. You got this. Maybe you don't. Yeah, never mind. We believed in you and you let us down. It's okay. <laughs> well, so another I... stupid dragonborn. I'm not sitting here. <laughs> I'm not a um, dragonborn either. Hey, I'm... at least he has a zero. You had a minus. <laughs> yeah. she got you wow. She got you fucking really good, really going to do me like that. Can't believe that. I'm going to break a little bit of player agency in this one, if you will allow me. Sure. But, uh, Selkath, um, you glimpse the note that Fetsu holds in his hand. And you reflect back upon the missive handed to you by the gypsy that you're I don't want to call it your good friend acquaintance but uh punching bag well motherfucker you're the punching bag shut the fuck up your reason uh, for drink the Richard there we go lit on fire and stomped out on the floor Boy, would that be nice to have in your hands at this moment in time? Mm-hmm. Because... Yeah. Mm. yeah. Bonk. Yeah. I remember what it said, but I'm, I can't say it in character. <laughs> I have to get the hand out right fucking now. <laughs> yeah. Don't you fucking dare. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. You can see my hands. Do it. Do it. Do it. Join the dark side. Hand. I am I am all for one hundred percent listening to the DM and the players agency. And what mm. you remember out of character, you remember out of character, but you can act on in character. Yep. Yeah, that's why I'm Join not quite being quiet. But 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 uh I will give you this Selka. I remember the name. But you remember the name and you remember Hail to thee of might and That's valor. And, and and oh um Shit. Shit. I'm seeing rolls and I'm scared. Everybody roll for initiative? Mike, no. could I Mike, could I ask you really quickly to repeat everything oh, yeah, you cool. said? I'm so <laughs> sorry. My Discord fucking died and I thought it was internet until I saw the roll twenty. I got the oh, roll for initiative it. and that was it. I mean rather roll get them the... up. Roll them up everybody. We're, we're rather gonna get in that one now. I don't think we can go for three hours and not swing a sword, can we? 
Mike. Yes. Mike, please tell me you hear me. I, I, I need you to, I need you to tell me what everything that was said, please and thank you, because I love you. Did you just see his mouth moving and nothing coming out of his? Oh fuck off! <laughs> I'm holding you up. <laughs> Did you so, so what? What? what, what fall fucking knee jab you. Go for it. Why is Sulkath dead? What the? What the what? ass? Uh, just, just cleric things, don't worry. Uh, okay, no. So here's here's what happened. Um, Shellcath kind of looked into what you were doing and saw the note, and then you know, kind of like you know, oh, what the hell is this? And he went, "Hail to thee of might, of might, of uh, might, uh, might and valor." He's like, well, that sounds familiar. And he looks down at the bottom, like, Christ has been same, signed by the same fucking person. And he's like, oh, God damn it, if we only had the original letter to compare them to, that might help. But Richard, Richard, burned the fucking note up in the tavern, and he doesn't have anything to really fucking go on, but he knows that something ain't quite Fucking right. Rick, I, I feel in regards to things not being too right, I feel some people don't quite know. Um, so, Corey, say hi, and I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm really sorry, mate. I've known you for over a year and I don't know your name, so I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> close your sheet down if you've already got it. Hold Alt and double click your token, and then click Initiative, and it'll roll you into the initiative. Um, I will also, the initiative, I'm good. Uh, you're not, I uh, you're. Um, for um, for Mike, however, um, my dumbass also forgot to do everything I've just told everyone else to do, and I've sent you a screenshot just so you know, my initiative should be 17.13. If you'll allow it to do, if you want me to keep the 12.13, that's also cool. Alright, so, uh, uh, I did roll, I just forgot to click my, uh, what? Sorry, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy now, everybody. Let's not get all freaked out just because it's our first fucking combat. I'm fucking psyched. Um, Speaking of. Tetsu, what was your first roll? Uh, 17.13, 17.13. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Bernard, Bernadette? Mine is um, 11.15. Uh, Draken? Uh, Mine was 9.1. Alright. So I am missing. Selketh and Kados. Uh, I, I did roll, I just forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he rolled a natural one, so. Yeah. Yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah, Alright, yeah, so. Just to how do I roll for initiative? Alright, All right, so, so. Do you so have your counter sheet open? On your. Uh, wait a minute. On your. On the uh, virtual tabletop, click on your token, and then on your character sheet, click initiative. And Kados, if you could do the same, I will adjust them because, well, yeah. let's, on, let's be honest, you're rocking a fucking one, dude. Nice. By the way, Drake has disadvantage on all of his saving throws now. Rather get that one, though, in the uh, uh, initiative than in combat. Put your hands up if you're too used to Foundry as opposed to Roll20. Fuck off. Yeah. My hands up as so. well. <laughs> I am raising my. Uh, my hand is up. I haven't used roll twenty in like three years. I, I feel. I feel. I used it every Wednesday. I can't find the initiative. Um, uh, so are you still are you still looking for the initiative on your sheet there? Uh, say hi. Yes. So between armor class and speed, you'll see initiative. Oh. Uh, you just click that, mate. There you go. Oh, bastard. Christ sakes. Every, I, I feel everyone else is kind of used to right clicking your token and then clicking the two yeah. little swords and then mm -hmm. going up to the top right hand side and clicking yeah. the D20. Yeah. <laughs> so right. I, mean, I have I, a macro for it. That's your fault, Scottish. You've made me like this. What can I say? I run a good game. Uh, I got <laughs> in, by the way. I'm insulted by that, you Scottish fuck. 
<laughs> I, am not, one? I am not saying you do not run a good game, right? I have been psyched for this game for ever since this. Let me be clear, right? And say hi can attest to this. I rendered a video, I uploaded a video, I made the thumbnail, I, I done the subtitles, and I done that in an hour, and I thought it would take me two hours. I sat here for an hour doing fuck all, like, oh my god, I'm, I'm going to play a game of Curse of Strahd. Yes, I've wanted this for so long. And Bernadette can attest, we looked mm -hmm. for a game for so long. We got into a Dungeon of the Mad Mage game that lasted one fucking session before the DM was I, like, I don't have like, time for this. I don't this. think so we sorry. even played. I don't think we even played it. So, like, you know, this, oh, and say hi can attest, we were supposed to have a game before this game, and apparently only three people could make it, so we didn't have a game. This has been my only D and D fix all week as a player. All right, this Johnson, is like crack dude. for me. You're Johnson, yeah. and we're we're running over, and I don't I don't fucking care, quite frankly. There's well, play. Mike, I'll play I'll play to six in the morning as long as there's enough gin in this bottle of Bombay Sapphire. Which um, fun fact? That's a big I doggy. Got, I got half a bottle here left. That is one big doggy. This was the greatest Christmas present ever by one of my high school friends. A litre bottle of Bombay Sapphire. I don't think I can, like, over play, like, at least until... I can play until 4 or 5, but I need to get my sleep because we're, we're, we're going for three visits to family members to, later today, so I need some sleep. I mean, my mom's working tomorrow, so I could be up to like four or five in the morning. I look up. And I, All right. we're gonna be done with the session after combat, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> he just wants to fucking go. <laughs> wants I want to go to bed. I want to. I want to go. To, I want to take a nap. Okay. Like, I'm. I'm ready to uh, embrace okay, this. I'm trying to stay with Corey enough tonight. I want out of this shit. <laughs> Yeah, I have had too much of your shit. I'm ready to fight but God or become God. I'm ready to fight or become God. Pick oh, one. doggy! I am God. I'm gonna kill God. Two doggies! How, how dare you say you're gonna kill, kill me? Penny. I am God. Alright. Fuck you. Oh, oh fuck, two music up on here. Alright, hang on. Oh, yeah. I'll put some combat fucking music on. You better. Hey, who yeah. wants to head on if Corey yeah. does uh, this bastards. session or not? We, we're two doing doggies. combat music. Oh, my two doggies. Hey, Scott, two you... beautiful doggies. Uh, how much you want to bet that uh, Corey's going to die this session? Fuck you. Wow. That's um, kind if, of not, if, not, if not by the wolves, then by friendly fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will oh, say no. I have a tendency of dying. He's attacking at no. disadvantage, so it, he's attacking at disadvantage, so that's like a dumb bet. Like, you're going to win. Oh no, my halberd accidentally slipped. <laughs> oh no, my warhammer accidentally crushed his skull. How could this happen? Oh no, <laughs> I donkey punched him. It. Oh no, I accidentally sent... Uh, hang on a second. Let me just no, you fucked it, it, mate. You fucked it. Fuck off. Back to the, the what's, the word? What's, the word? what's the word? I'm retarded. Uh, harmless, that's the word. Oh no, I accidentally sent harmless tremors at him. Whatever is that going to do? You are the so. Oh no, I accidentally cast inflicted wounds on my ally. How unfortunate. <laughs> That's a touch spell. <laughs> oh no, I accidentally slapped Cory with inflict wounds. How unfortunate. Oh no, I accidentally hit him with my greatsword and then proceeded to divine smite him. Wow. What a shame. Odds my bodkins. So, from out of the cover burst two dire wolves. One Begin question. Yes. What cover? I'm behind the Me. Fuck I already asked the question. I already asked the question we we're all asking. <laughs> and. I'm gonna ask, are we surprised, yes or no? No. No, no I'm, I'm no. D D mechanic no. wise. No. no. Not as of yet. And to the left and to the right. 
How does a dire wolf hide in a bush? <laughs> Very direly. Are you Very really? Quiet, <laughs> yeah. Do you really want me to fuck you up right now? I mean, no. really, you're gonna ask me that question? That's a genuine <laughs> question. How does a giant wolf? Yeah, hide you in a bush? Jokes on you. I'm into that shit. Also, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's a tree. I'm pretty sure that's a tree. Man, you are really looking to be making death saving throws this game, ain't ya? <laughs> you know what? You, okay, let's just get into it. Alexa, play right. Riot by 3D's Grace. <laughs> so, from the left and right, two dire wolves bound from cover. They draw their jaws snapping in a foamy froth splaying across the ground. Guys, they call that rabies. Don't get caught in that. Selka. Well, the Benice one of them just throw water at it. It is now your turn. Wait, they do nothing. They bounded from cover, and they are flanking the party on on the left and right. Is taking out my weapon in action? No. Okay, cool. I'm gonna um take out my warhammer and then proceed to let's see which one's the last uh I'll I'll guide I'll guiding bolt this dog. The one to the right. If you ping click and oh. hold you'll ping the one. It's like this or this. Just click and hold on there. This one. I don't know why it rolled twice. Alright, so Selkath, are you targeting this creature? Hmm? You're targeting the creature on the right above uh, Bernadette and Kado, yes. correct? Yeah. Yeah. So make you're guiding, a 12 hit. Your, your, your guiding bolt sails off into the bushes, lighting them on fire, but not impacting your intended target. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to walk over here. Yeah, we'll go here. Yeah, and then I'll pass. Okay. Fetsu. <sighs> so it's gonna box his hands and cracks his knuckles out. How did you miss? And we'll sprint forward. Uh, I should have just smacked it. Caught 15 foot and sprinting. It will jump forth, unarmed strike in the air to punch the doggy before immediately at bonus action also unarmed strike spinning round to kick it back in you know with the left foot in the face uh, minus proficiency so negative two on that 18 for 16 so 20 and 16 for a total of seven does that hit both of your strikes make solid contact as your bare hands impale upon your opponent and the wolf cries out in pain. It's gonna pull both arms back one hand hand firmly in front, one hand one hand at the back. Oh Just yeah, the one on the left. Quick! And then pass the Bernadette. Uh, hang on, before Bernadette gets to go, there's just one more thing I would like to add to this yep. encounter. Oh. There's a third one. Does anyone else feel scared? I feel scared. Is anyone else's ass blowing kisses? Mine's is blowing kisses. It should be. Wait. We must laugh in the face of danger. I told you there was something in that fucking thing. 
another dire another dial dire wolf bursts from cover. Another one. <laughs> another one. Yeah. We the best. We the best music. Bernadette. Yeah. I will move fifteen feet over here. Target let me see how far I am from this guy. Forty feet. Yeah, okay. Target this guy and cast Sacred Flame. Sacred uh, Flame. I too have a DC of 13. High five. <laughs> High five. High five. Uh, ha, ha sank. Ah ha ha. No bueno. You cast your sacred flame towards the dire wolf. It sees the radiant mm -hmm. spell fly across the battlefield and jumps to the side without impacting its body. Okay. Oh, oh, Draken. Hello. Hello oh, there. Now, with me being at disadvantage, I'm going to take this lot. Just landing and potentially being slightly balanced mm -hmm. to giggle and hold my arm up in the air, aim my fingers towards it, and I go and giggle. I haven't said this now, well. Eldritch Blast. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, fucking roll the one on both, mate. Unlucky. What? What? Um, are you um? Are you familiar with stage fright? Because dropping you should be. Um, uh, you know, I'm, four, I'm forty. Uh, you know, it's it's normal at my age. It is performance issues. It's performance issues. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let us take a brief moment to, in quite frankly, enjoy this moment as a DM. This is this is one of my finer finer moments. Um, TBK. I think, I think we need to engage in a discussion of. Critical hit and critical fail. As a party, what is your opinion on how this should be handled? Now, I abstain uh, immediately on the grounds that I am drunk. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, uh, option A a critical fail results in. Well, I really, 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 really fucking missed. And a critical hit will result in whatever comes up on the screen. Option B is, on a critical hit or a critical fail, as a DM, I will call for another roll of a d20. If you critically fail and then roll another one on a d20 that is truly a critical fail and we can find out what the results are if you critically hit and roll a d20 and, and land a 20 then that is a true critical hit and you can find out what happens after that what would you like to have happen because honestly two ones in a roll two 20s in a roll what are the chances uh, Second option. <laughs> yeah. I mean, One, I once rolled four, no, five critical 20s in a row. There'd be one in 400. With the As Pathfinder rules, he's uh, essentially asking uh, a crit is only really a full crit, and a crit fail is only really a crit fail if you roll 2d20. And so, so, as a group, 
What will it be? All right, so let, let's put it this way. All in favor of nothing happening, say yes and roll 20 in chat. Yes. And roll 20 chat. So type it yep. in chat yes, and if you're against it, type no. I abstain on the basis that I am fucked. We got two for yes. Um, at this point, we're only needing one more for yes, and it's a win by democratic vote. Yay, democracy! On blue balls has been a date. It, it it works both ways, right? Also for enemies. Mm. Good question. Yes. Does it make? What what was that? If an Does enemy rolls a nat twenty, do they then need to roll another twenty to critically hit us, or does the critical table only apply to us? Oh no, it goes both ways. So enemies also must roll a d twenty in order to critically hit us. There we go, we win. Yes. Then it's a uh, four to nil, uh, critical hits and critical fails. So Corey, Fair enough. we must ask for All another right. d twenty. So Corey, roll me a d20, please. All right. So. Six misses. Bro got you, that one in 400 luck. Yes, you missed. Kados, it is now your turn. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to uh, move around to this side of Bernadette. Take out my halberd and prepare an action to... Hit anything that comes within range. Okay. By the way, those um, growls are creepy. They don't sound like wolves, right? They sound more like monstrosity. Mm. <laughs> I mean, dire wolves are mon monster wolves, so kind of checks out. Monstrosity is different though. This is just a wolf that went to the gym. Uh. Wolf got swole. It went oh, good. Wolf, on, wolf on steroids. You need to ask Mike, are we doing flanking, yes or no? No flanking. Wolf got the pump on. Um, Tetsu. Hold us up. Uh, yeah, man. Take, take, take a this. I think I'm what? I don't see anything. Um. Oh, fuck. Okay, fair enough. Uh. You could either you could either trust trust me in my roll, or I will re-roll it again. I. It doesn't matter to me. I'm gonna trust you. I appreciate that, my friend. My apologies to the rest of the group for not making that role public. I had it defaulted to the GM screen. I rolled a 17 and a 10. So does a 17 manage to find its way? That's who is in... unconscious. Yeah. Well, no, you only took six points. Oh, you said 10. Sorry. Uh, that gives sense that who has three hit points to his name. No, I, ro I rolled a 17 and a 10. So, like, advan advantage, disadvantage. And you took six points of piercing damage from your foe. A 16 hits as I have an AC of 14. And that leaves me with... Um, I've changed it on my side, but it doesn't seem to have changed on the token. Um, I had a total of nine, and I have three hit points. But the token yep. still seems to say I have nine. Yep, I see that. And that will be... They only get one attack. There's not a multi-attack. And we move on to Selkath. You see Thetsu. His body being torn open by the vicious bite of a dire wolf. His flesh flinging about the ground, about the air, and his blood pouring about the ground. 
I'm just gonna run up to the wolf and smack it in the face with a warhammer. Make your attack. You're gonna move 10 foot mate, to here. I know, I meant to move first a bit. No, I get it. Yeah. Pulling back on your warhammer and swinging it feebly and, and futilely against in a futile attempt to knock the dire wolf whose jaws are sunken into the torso of Thetsu. You begin to question whether or not you're truly cut out for a life of adventuring. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I'm gonna go with if no. If you die, I have spared the dying. You get any bonus actions? No. no. It's level one. Healing word is level one. <laughs> I have healing word. That's a bonus action. Oh. I forgot that. Can I cast heal healing word or no? I will absolutely allow that because we are all here to learn and grow as better players and believe me when I tell you there will be ample opportunity for you to correct me as a dungeon master so I already you. like you as a DM more than I did Matthew wow well, thanks um, mate oh, kiss ass <laughs> Matthew, kiss so ass straight. alert kiss no, ass no, alert Ma if we fuck up Matthew just goes haha you f bitch <laughs> uh, whole sec you ain't gonna believe this, mate. That uh, that gives me full health again. Yes. <laughs> Who's your buddy? Who's your pal? So, is you gonna fire that off? I'll gonna look to you. Thank you. Let's see if we can uh, make work of this thing once more, and I will immediately try to once more roundhouse kick left foot to the face before immediately kind of jumping up and. Elbow to the head, bonus action. Action 12, bonus action seven, uh, 16, because minus my proficiency bonus, does any of those hit? Your first throw of your dominant right hand sails high above the wolf's head. And as you spin and pivot off your back foot, your offhand finds the mark not as strongly or as damaging as you would have hoped but you still take health from the vile creature that stands before you inside so anything else what says i'd spun round to kick with my first one noticing the wolf to the back i'll shout that's south. There's another one. Quick. And I will end my turn passing to the Dire Very well. This Dire Wolf bounds between the stack of rocks and the bushes and takes up position just to the south of Kados. It's snarling froth covered jowls snapping at his heels. Bernadette. Yes. I would like to target this guy. Brandish my Cross light crossbow and try and hit it. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, you turn your fucking alarm off. Jesus, roll, yeah. me, roll me another d20, please. Man, I'm doing good today. <clears throat> oh. You be you loose your bolt, yeah, and there is a sound in your weapon that 
tells you there's something not quite right. But the sinewy string of the crossbow holds and does not part in two. You still have a viable weapon in your hand. Okay. Is there anything um, else you'd yeah. like to do? How does ammo work? Do we lose it forever? Do we pick how how much do we pick up after the battle? Okay. Great question. Ammunition spent, I will give the party a chance to pick up 50% of what they spent. So if you shot one, you'll always get that one back. If you shoot two, you'll get one back. If I critically fail, I lose the bolt altogether. So if this is the last bolt you lose, you're not going to get it back. If you shoot 15, you'll get 7 back. So it's rounded up. Rounded down. Okay. So if they shot 3, they'll get 1. Yeah. Uh, regardless, <laughs> yeah. regardless of natural 1s or natural 20s, they will always get back an equal amount to half. Rounded down? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm used to that. I'm used to that. I'm, I do that in um, our in our dungeon of Mad Mage as well. Like, do you want my honest opinion there? Yeah. Never yes, fucking noticed. Yes, but no. Go ahead. Never fucking noticed, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, wow, she's got a lot of fucking arrows, ain't she? I ain't gonna question that now. Thirty-five sessions in. <laughs> I bought like a hundred in the in the bazaar, but I'm like down to sixty or something, seventy. That's right. like I noticed. All right, uh, everyone. I'm sorry. I am full of uh, booze and mixer. Give me two <clears throat> minutes to relieve myself. I'll be right back to con continue this combat. Just hang at the okay. windy, at the windy, at the windy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a hundred and ten percent right now. It's fucking it's a mate. It's great yeah. playing a game with everybody that's like proper sound. It's it's great. Then there's me. <laughs> did did I invite you? Did I invite you? Did I openly invite you? As a last option, yes. I I'll give you that as a last option. <laughs> However, bear in mind if you'd said no, the next option was Callum. Uh, yeah, he wouldn't have said yes. Any no, he'd have said I. He'd have said I. Mm. Callum has a. Do you know Callum has a campaign book? Yes, I know, but right now Callum's too busy. So like, I've I've got his eight nine ticket sitting here, but like he's got um. He's got the campaign Wild Beyond the Witchlight. And like Ooh. I'm like so tempted to give him like thirty quid for it and be like, here you go, mate, can I can I can I get that one? Nay nay intentionally running it, I'd like to point that out. Like you not right now. The book. The book. <laughs> I I've already got my next campaign like sorted and the next mm -hmm. campaign's Tomb of Annihilation. Spoiler Ooh. alert. That's <laughs> sounds sick as fuck actually. Like, uh, where is it? From this straw here, it's uh, this one here. Uh, I've got me, Laura, and Callum's tickets right here. Mm -hmm. I'm still angry you got fucking physicals. Yeah. I'll tell you one better, mate. I bought ticket 49, 50, and 51, meaning I was literally first in queue. Like, I was, I was right there. I'm not, I don't know what, I think I've got like, How about me I have like 105 or something. Me and Laura are raging at you mate, me and Laura are raging at you. You've got O2 priority, meaning you'll get in before us, however... Um, got... Matthew. What? You forget something. What? If one person has... Has <laughs> it, you know. Also... You're breaking up. Do, do you... Right, so, do you know how O2 priority works? You're probably going to get in like maybe 10 minutes before us. No, no, no. Do you know how O2 priority works? No. As long as you're on O2, you have priority. 
I'm on Virgin Media, which is O2. Technically, if you go behind us in the queue, you'll get in. Because I would like say, you are all one party, I'm Co with O2. Cody, mate, That's all, I'm, all I'm saying is, I'm saying to Laura, we're using your superpower to get as close to Spencer's boss as possible. Oh yes, I've said that. I will say, I need front, I have autism. I, 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 want, I want Spencer to step on me. That sounds really fucking bad that I want like, an artist no, to step funny. on me. But like, in all his gigs, he always steps on somebody, and if he steps on me, that's it. I could die the next day, and I'll be happy. <laughs> Dude, just Jeffrey Epstein yourself in the world of the cat. As, as, as long no, as cat, cat is not open that day, mate. Cat is not open that day. So like, we need to find another what? nightclub to go to. Oh shit. Raging. Hello. Mm. Hi, mate. I'm Good back. I'm back. We're talking about the concert we're going to in a week and a half. Oh, nice. To who? Ice, Ice and Kill. Kills. Nope. No idea. Big metal band. Good metal band. There are a lot of songs based off of New York Times bestsellers such as Carrie and um Yeah. Exorcist. Exorcist. No, Exorcist. And no, then they done one based no, off horror no, movies like I'm, the I'm, No, I'm fifty four years old and I've got a certain set of bands that I'm gonna follow and uh, the one you're talking about is not fucking one of them. So, so, sorry, you, like this, you like this stub, and that's good enough I don't, for us. I don't give a shit what you've got to say at this point, or wow. ever. Um, wow. I thought we were friends. Yeah. Alright, I see how it no. is. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> Get to the back of the bus. Bernadette, my dear, is there anything else you'd like to do? Uh, I don't have anything other that I can do at the moment. So, right. I'll, I guess I'll light crossways one hand at right weapon, so I still have my shield up. Alright. All right. That's me. Uh, Draken. I'm just currently st st just staring at the big fucking dog standing over the top of me. Oh. Hi. Uh, yeah. I I'm, I'm kind of just sitting there staring up at like, um, hello. I, I have a little treat for you as I just reach my hand behind my back and just laughing playing him a fetch as I say that I just and miss an eldritch brat uh, really? <laughs> a, a red hand axe eldritch blast <laughs> oh, I mean <laughs> fucking warlocks Oh, so so very sad. I I really didn't want to TPK the entire party, but okay, needs must. Yep. When in doubt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't even have any fucking bonus uh, actions. Kato, uh, okay. <laughs> it's it's now your turn. Uh-huh. You move, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, he totally did. Yep. Yep. And he's going to make an attack. Right. And Surely. We're just waiting wait for that to uh, show up in the chat. Oh. Oh. Thank you. The nice part about it is he, is he really didn't have to move that closely to make it happen. Yeah, but, 10, feet, 10 feet reach. Yeah. The good news, Kados, is as you bring your halberd down to try to separate the head and shoulders from the hind quarters of your foe, it does find its mark. And as it cleaves into the body and blood pours about the ground, it turns with a and now focuses its attention squarely upon you. Oh. Oh, old oh, dragon. This one is just for you. <clears throat> See, we done mate, you've angled the wolf. Don't angle the wolfie. His jaws snap down upon your left knee. 
Does an 18 hit? Sadly. Oh, you feel the pain as its jaws close around your left knee. Blood what? spewing across the ground. It found a vital artery taking 12 points of piercing damage. You fall to the ground, losing consciousness. Why in the world do you throw dire wolves at us? Because fuck you, that's why. Because it's funny. <laughs> you know, that's a okay. great... I like can watch you, Moss. That's a really great question, and I'm going to answer this at the end of this combat. But, uh, Draken, if you could remove... Um, yeah. 12 points. Oh, it's and... Draken? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, it's Draken? Not uh, Kados? Okay. I thought it was Kados. That's me. Nope. Draken. Oh, wrong Wolfie. The one I'm in front of is the one with 16. All right. I messaged Kados mm -hmm. and I was like, yo, I can't hear you, bro. <laughs> All right. So, Draken, you need to roll your death saves to me in private. I don't know how you do that. Um, on your character sheet. Yeah. Oh, to GM. There we so, go. Yes. Yes. Uh, death saving. How to do that again? So, see under your maximum hit ah. points. You got your head died. Oh, fuck mm. Fun. Don't wanna make. I'm here to help you. Nope. Um. Uh, I'm gonna. I will say this, Draken. <laughs> Not mm -hmm. until it is your turn do you need to make a death saving throw. Ah, so right, so that can go by bye, -bye. Yep. So ignore that too. Yes, Look, thank you. <laughs> yep, you're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, that's that's what we do as a that's, dungeon master. That's a me rule. Sorry, that's yep. a me rule that you get to roll immediately as you drop. And I love this more than anything. <laughs> Futile fucking humans. <laughs> he just calls us futile fucking humans. Mike yes. selling his inner dungeon master. Uh -huh. Even I ain't that sadistic, bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, Betsu, you knave. Oh, oh yeah. fuck me sideways. Give me a 13 DC saving throw. On which rounds? Yeah. Strength. Oh, yeah. Just my dump stat. Don't fucking mind me, cunt. You know, yeah. I'll help. Can I help you? Wish you didn't dump that stat now, don't you? Wish you didn't dump that stat now, do you? I'm yeah, a monk. What else am I going to dump? Bitch. Dumb so, bitch. As, dumb bitch. As the dire wolf bites into your torso, and renders damage. your flesh from its from your ribs. You are knocked sure. to the ground, gasping, writhing in pain. Paper ventilation sets in. Selkath, it is now your turn. Fuck it up, brother. Fuck it up. I'm going to use Cure Wounds as a bonus action again. Cell cure cat? Wounds is an action. Cell, cell no, cat? Not Cure Wounds. Healing cell wound. cat? Cell cat? I'm going to interrupt. Did you not, just a few minutes ago, ask why the fuck did you throw three dire wolves at us? Yes. <laughs> Nice knowing y'all. Give me a insight check, please. That's an insight DM. Come on, you're a cleric. You're good at insight. It's wisdom based. Yo, there guys. That's fucking beautiful, mate. Stellcalf. You can recall 
the sequence of events. Your deity <laughs> giving you divine guidance that the dire wolves bounded from cover. They did not make the first attack. It almost seems like they were hurting you in a direction. And yet the party felt that need, they needed to slay everything in their fucking path. Oof. Perhaps this was a huge error of judgment. I have made a severe and before years of my judgment. your weapon crashes down upon your opponent, you're given a moment of pause to think that perhaps not everything that you encounter in this adventure is meant to be killed. I'm just going to stop and not attack the wolf. I'm going to cast Healing Word as a bonus action on my friend who is dying on the floor here. Healing Word's an action, mate, and it's touch-based. Um, healing Word is bonus like, action, 60 oh. feet. Sorry. Cure wounds is action. I'm thinking cure um, wounds to secure. I, Ignore me. Yeah, you're drunk, drunk. I know. <laughs> Love you. There you go. <laughs> now, can, can, I, can I pick him up as a free action or would that be a full action? Draken. Shalom. As your blood spills out across the traveled road, the muck, mm -hmm. the muck, and the mire, it coalesces and withdraws back into your body no, and, no, with, no. Uh, and with with a hor with a horrible gasp of one who is going to meet their maker you hear this <laughs> and you are healed <laughs> you now are Back amongst the living, drawn back from the grave with six hit points. Six hit points, but you healed him for eight. Yeah, no, I was at negative two. Yep. I don't think that matters. Up. I don't give a fuck. That's how I roll. All right. I just spared the fuck out of the party, giving you a huge hint. <laughs> Work with me, shit nuts. I'm going to pick up... Um... My friend who's next to the dire wolf and just yelled at the party, Run! Run, <laughs> you fools! Oh, virginity attack! Yeah, you're gonna, have to move. you're gonna have to move. No, to help no. Him up, my friend. No. Not you, but not, not him, you. <laughs> oh, I'm. Ah, oh, thank you. You're helping me up. Yeah. Uh, Mike, how you, uh, how you reeling with that, mate? Um, using his, I believe he's using the help action to help me get up. Normally, yeah. that's half movement. And I think that in in uh, ruling on this one, Selkath cast healing word and then helped you to your feet. You're still going to have half movement. Okay. If he did not take an action and just picked you up, you'd get full movement. I used a bonus action to cast Healing Word, and then didn't use an action, so... Fuck off, you get a half movement. Stop fucking with me, shit nuts. Wow, alright. I thought I liked you. Clearly not. <laughs> Joking. Love you, babes. I, I, do I get half movement as well, or does only he? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You Christ, I'm, half so I'm, I'm a half jug- I'm a half jug in. Right. So I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over to Draken, taking a disengage action, so I don't get attacked by the wolf. Okay. Hurry up, if I can. Um. Your choice. How you doing with it, Mike? Yeah, I'll allow that. Because Thetsu, Thetsu is still now 
prone on the ground. Sick. I thought I helped him. Uh, no, no. Can't help him up and then friggin' move with a disengage action. I'm not gonna let, let that happen. Fine, I'll you, stay over here. So you're giving me the help action to get up and make your class and that is still half movement, yeah? For me? Yeah, I'm yep. a dick. Yep. Alright, well, fuck you and your mom and that that couch you call it. Uh, yeah, your Craigslist couch. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get half movement up. I'm gonna place a hand on uh i'm sorry it's just the alcohol i'm gonna call you selkirk right now because that's a place in scotland and i've just had a wee bit too much <laughs> i'm gonna place a hand on you that like, get up look at you thank you and uh i recommend you maybe you help someone else until i go down until then Let's and I put my hands together and crack the knuckles out once more, and I will immediately try roundhouse kick the dire wolf in front of me. Wait, I, can I stop him from attacking the animal? I'm just gonna just word of what do I say? I'm um, just before he attacks. Can I say something to him? You have. Six words to utter. Six words or less, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I've got six fingers up, my friend. <laughs> On you go. Thank, thank you, Bernadette. You are <laughs> fucking awesome. Thank you. I get six just, fingers up, say hi. On you go. Just run away. Man's only used half those words. Uh, make you gonna. If I say I don't want to use that 19, are you going to be okay with that then? And class it as me not having my act, um, class it as me allowing to use a disengage action? I will allow you to heed the words of your esteemed colleague. Okay. However, okay. however, if you heed his words now going forward they are going to lend more weight to any decision you make going forward okay so I'm going to ask um, can I rectify the 19 for 2 for the disengage action okay um my apologies. I this is a miscommunication between you and I, Scottish. Not so right. let's go with let's try this. Um, you are about to haul off and smack the dire wolf, and Selkath goes, "No, don't do that. Run away." So if you want to f um, follow the words of Selkath, you can do so, or you can attack the dire wolf with a roll of nineteen. What is it that you choose to do? Make. I'm going to ask you a very serious question that anyone who's ever played a game with me will understand. So I hold up a d20. I'm going to ask. Even or odds? Oh, here we go. Even, I heed Selkirk's words. Odds, I kick the direwolf. Roll it up, my friend. Even a rod, mate. Even a rod. Odd. Odd. Neither. I rolled a six. So I'm going to take the disengage action and I'm going to move a whole uh, 15 foot. And as I do, I'm going to scream, You better be right, friend. But I'm going to really emphasize the friend as I run past him in this zigzag fashion. Tetsu. Why you, you will regard Selkath as a wise and sage advisor until other council proves you wrong.
I'm just following the good word of Jesus. Uh, S E L K E T H. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, Kath, sorry. Yeah. This dire wolf moves and begins snapping its jowls viciously at Kados and Bernadette. <laughs> but does not attack Bernadette. I'll sheath my um, crossbow and let me check. Let me check something. Um, I'm gonna bonus action healing word on Tetsu. You know we you know you're like the best party member out there. <laughs> uh, five to eight. Yep. Thank you. And then I'll also. I guess I'll move, but I'm gonna. All right. Dodge? Is I moving? Can I move it? And dodge? No, no. Okay. Uh, Bernadette and... Oh. Uh, the other cleric in the party. Bernadette, I believe that you are a cleric of a certain domain. Yes. Do you not get a... Level 2, Channel Divinity. We're level 1. But even at level one on a healing word, do you not get to add? I'm not life. Okay. I'm My life. Who I'm is? Twilight. Selka? Yeah, I don't know what Selka is. But I'm not life. All right. You My tell, apologies. You're telling me I could have had more healing than an eight? <laughs> Listen, bitch. Just shut up. <laughs> okay, daddy. My mama, daddy. My Just daddy. run away from the dogs. Draken. Uh, wait, I still haven't moved. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I guess I'll move over to the... This here, and... I guess I'll dodge now, just in case, or something. Yep. Draken. As I was sitting here confused, my leg has magically and feel like I've had a really bad dream. Standing looking at this puppy. I'm gonna have to do this again. I can't just... look left and right. Noticing that everyone else is confused that I'm. I smile and I go. Huh, hi, puppy. I'm like the most kind of scared way. And look for an easy way. Okay. Um... In that moment, I might just say, fuck it. And just swing for the fucker again. Again, before he gets back. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I gotta tell you Hi, this. Hi, Alicia. I gotta, I gotta tell you this. I love your balls. Bro, they are the size of fucking grapefruits. Trust me, if you had met my last... And say hi. I was an asshole. I was arrogant for a reason. Uh... Um, Can I get be, before, before you click mm -hmm. your attack, Estance? is there a moment you would like to reflect that maybe this character is different in some way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's completely different. Okay. In, in one kind of way. He doesn't have a massive god complex. Okay. He knows uh, he can die, but he's just not scared to die. 
I love it. I love he grew it. Up, he, because he grew up with a criminal background, he knows dying is an option, and he's not scared of it anymore. Well, so if, he, I... if he dies fighting to save people, comrades, he dies in his eyes. If he dies, well, he dies. That as well, if he dies, he dies. My friend, I will tell you this. No matter what happens as the result of this battle, when your soul leaves its mortal coil, you will be found in Valhalla. Make your attack. As I look up at the dog, I smile and I go, you know what? You've done me before. You're probably going to do it again. And scream at the top of my yeah! As I swing up. Not good enough. Do you have anything else in your pitiful arsenal? I don't see any attacks. I have one I might be able to use, I'm not sure. Cody, what did you attack hands? with and what did you roll with? Because I don't see any attacks in chat. Oh, sh I put it to DM. Ah, so. That's okay. I got an 11. Make a trust uh, you. I have healing hands, but I don't know if I could use it. Uh, healing hands? Ironic. Yeah. Almost Read it out to us. It just says healing hands. It won't let me click on it. Healing hands. And that's an ASMR thing, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah. Click, click on the healing. Attraction. So yeah, when you you, when you look it. at your sheet, if it's in your yeah. options on the right hand side, if you click the name of it, it'll give you all the details and hovering over it will either have a speech mark or a cog. If you click the speech mark, neither it'll put it in chat. it's underneath short rest. As an action you touch a creature and cause it to regain a number of hit points equal to your level. So, uh, you attacked, um, which would be your action, mate. Ah, right, I thought it was a bonus action. Might be different because we're not on... Uh, it use. could be the book. Um, yeah. It's usually a bonus action in the game, so... Asmar, healing hands... Yeah. Uh, action. Yeah, I think both Mordecai and Tome of Foes and Mordecai and Prevents Monsters of the Multiverse class that as an action oh, um, i didn't know that oh, so it was a yeah. bonus action yeah no it's an action uh -huh. healing hands you can touch a creature and roll a number of d4 to your proficiency bonus okay and then that, i'm just gonna leave it out as then yep okay um i'm gonna go go to file this under you stupid fucking fool we love you, Corey. We'll miss you. <laughs> it's fine. I'll see you next session with a new character. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Felicia. Kados. Kados, it is now your turn. Uh, I'm going to watch him, Bernadette, like, move back, disengage, and then just move back as well. Very well. We're all just gonna run away, right? No, yeah. No. Close. All except for one. You're fucking... just gonna die. You're gonna get oh, mauled, and I'm gonna steal your soul. Think about it this way: if I die, and you guys get away. He's a willing sacrifice, y'all. <laughs> think about it in that way. Oh, God I'm more it. thinking about it as I just wasted a spell slot on saving you. Yeah, but you saved me to save yourself, technically. Right. They wouldn't so, have attacked us again. So, I am going to ask Draken, will you mm. trust me in my role, or would you like me to re-roll in public? Re-roll in public. Question, okay. uh, you rolled a 20 and a 15? Oh, so it did show up. That's public. Yeah. Yeah. Bad news. <laughs> Take yeah, that... I'm dead either take, way, I don't give a fuck. You take nine points of piercing damage as 
the dire wolf shifts its jaws from your torso to your throat. You drop to the ground. As I drop to the ground, one breath I still My good friend, Dragon Boy, and smile. My way of thanking. Yeah, but think about it. I've just had my throat bit off. I think. I'm... Does it matter unless the unless the damage dealt to you equals double your hit points? You don't die instantly. You go immediately to death saving throws. Yeah, but in my 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 guy, think he did. He just been bitten throat. He did it. Corey, mate, you need to come to my kitchen and learn D and D. Shut up. Selkath. Direwolf moves mm. five feet, snapping its jowls at you. <laughs> ah. Just snapping, not attacking. Tetsu. I am. Um... Wait, I didn't get to do anything. What? Yeah, good, good point. Good point. See how I didn't get to do anything. Uh, run it back, mate, please. Thank you. Love you. Oh, I don't have say hi in the uh, turn. Say, say hi. Uh, I'm sorry. Again, I'm going to call you Selkirk. Selkirk. Yeah, I don't care anymore, okay? My name Selkirk. is not Selkirk. 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 Okay. Selkirk. Name is sorry, Selkirk. Selkirk. Because I don't feel like dealing with this anymore. Uh, <laughs> Selkirk, what, what is your initiative please he's in there he's just before me oh he's just yeah he's straight 18 mate oh yep i'm yeah i'm my... just down here you just you, skipped me you you yeah, you, I... you literally said sell oh, okay, and okay, then immediately okay, jumped okay, to me what i skipped him my bad skin me flesh me whatever that makes you feel happy but, Selkath, it is now your turn. Fuck off, all ya. It's alright, I forgive you. This time. I'm just gonna run 30 feet in this direction. I can't... I can't it won't move. Alright. <laughs> why, why am I in the tree now? What? Selkath. Why, why am you, I... Oh. You find it odd that your opponent that was within your re reach. Uh, 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 uh. Does not att attack you. Okay, now that's a I, uh, see, uh I'm going to say, see how you get anything else you want to do before I do my turn. Uh, flip off Corey's dead corpse. Who's Corey? Well, he ain't dead yet. I am gonna run up. Um, okay, I can't do this normally, so I am gonna as I run up ten foot. I'm gonna grab. Um, understand? I don't know your name because I'm alcoholic. But I'm gonna grab you by the collar. I'm gonna place. Dick. Yeah, it's fucking thick. I'm gonna. Grab you by the collar. I'm gonna play it with my left hand. I'm gonna put my right hand out. You shout, "Stop!" And I'm gonna immediately use. Then I think I have. I'm gonna say I believe I have ten foot left, Mike. That's your call. Half movement as I grab. Um, as I grab the body of. Uh, I'm gonna say Corey. Because Draken. As I grab Draken's body and start. Dragging him backwards, uh, you're called uh, five, ten, or fifteen foot of movement as I'm dragging uh, him I, backwards. I'll give you half movement. So I have twenty five foot left. So ten or fifteen, your choice, mate. I'll give you the full fifteen. Thank you. As I'm dragging him back, I'm going to shoot. You know, grab him with my left hand and shoot. Stop. 
at the direwolves at back and I'm gonna with intensity staring at them as if trying to channel something that I can't quite do. Um your choice on animal handling check. Take my strong hand. Take my strong hand. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an animal handling check. Everybody cross your fingers. Oh, that's a 19. Oh, nice. Oh. Dirty 19, but a 19. That makes, that makes me cream. That slumped creature upon the ground, you will never be able to saddle up and ride. I don't need them to be hard. I need them to breathe. <laughs> Um, I'm going to assume you're calling that action and bonus action. Yes, sir. Okay, then I will move my turn over to the direwolf, who is behind me by my paladin and cleric friends. This direwolf moves... Snapping its jowls and the smell mm. that too. I mean, you've smelled some bad shit before, but the breath from this creature makes you want to convulse. <clears throat> but yet, it does not attack you. Bernadette. Yeah, um, I'll crouch down a bit so that I can touch um, Draken and cast Spare the Dying on him. And then I'm gonna try. Can I try to see where they want to, like, if they're trying to lead us somewhere? Like, Or the somewhere. Ooh, I like that. Um, I'm rolling this around in my brain. Tiny thing. I expected this to be done like 16 minutes ago. And I gotta go deal with something. So I will all see right. you all next week. Thank you, my friend. Bye. Um, I'm you, my man. Uh, Bernadette. Mm -hmm. Give me a perception check. Okay. Oh. South. Okay. South is the gates to Barovia? Yes. Okay, I guess. I think they want us to go to Barovia, to the village. <laughs> they want us or they want two themselves. Pick one. I guess we follow with their lead. And I'll move i still have some movement like to the to the road <laughs> all right oh very nice we're looking I'm, yeah. i didn't heal draken because draken because i f thought he would attack them again so yes. i'd rather keep him unconscious for now yeah. i'm yes. doing exactly the same thing so would i just be at one for you're, in, yeah. you're stabilized, so you don't need to make death saving throws unless Mike rules it otherwise. Stabilize your enemy, might You don't need to make death saving throws, but you are technically unconscious. So, for lack of better terms, you're asleep. Unless Mike says otherwise. Uh, no. Uh, Bernadette brings you back from the dark void. So I oh wait your your pulse although thready 
is constant in your respirations. <gasps> yeah, you're just unconscious. Yes. Sleepy boy is sleepy. Got new ceiling hands, Sag. Oh, I I totally missed that. He said, "Can't use healing hands, Sag." Um, for lack of a better term, I believe he just got to skip his turn because his class is unconscious. Yep. Pedos. I'm just gonna start making my way back to the park. Right. <laughs> And yeah, the unconscious person with the one that, that has stuff for <laughs> I love you too, Ura Roth. I love you too. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> here's, here's my mission, you know? <laughs> you decided... He decided he could protect himself. What if Selka takes him and carries him? I mean, he's his, his friend, even if he's, he's offline right now. I will happily no. play him and make asks. We're going, we're going! Uh, so I think Selkath is done for the night. So I think it is. Selkath will dash to the south, I yeah. feel. Yep, I would agree. Fetsu is now your turn. I will still, as a grabbing, my, grabbing the boy by the collar. <laughs> Still holding my hand out from the stop command, just gonna moving up left to right, hoping that the other one heeded my command. I will first move. Uh, I'll first move fifteen foot, hoping not to engage opportunity of attack. You have you have, with a dead body by the collar, half movement. Yep. So that's uh, fifteen foot that I've moved so far. Hoping not to engage any form of opportunities. And and not Dragon's body and skull <laughs> bounces across the ground. Rocks branches and other sundry items like boing boing boing. Ooh. <laughs> That's too you you think ooh. My compadre is going to have a headache in the fucking morning. I'm gonna... But the, the the vile the vile beasts do not take an attack of opportunity. No. They are truly trying to hurt you. Hold them by the collar still. I'm going to hold it three fingers, one pointed to everybody, and you shout, He owes me, yes, he owes me. Yes. Looking for some form of agreement from everyone else. For uh, continuing with a dash action for the remaining 15 foot to drag him past his dragonborn friend. Still looking for that confirmation from everyone else that indeed, yes, he owes me. And end my turn. Mm -hmm. I will not allow you to take the dash ac dash action. Okay. While while dragging a corpse, un an no. unconscious. Then thing. I, I will still be holding him by I the mean, neck as you will, pointing. Unconscious all bodies are usually dead weight. Yes. Yeah. I will still be holding him by the neck. Then point to everyone, shouting, "He owes me." Yes, looking for that 
uh, positive affirmation and I will end my turn. A dire wolf steps from the north to the south, snapping its jowls in a frothy lather. <laughs> but not <coughs> snapping down upon any part of your body. Oddly, as if controlled by something else. I fucking hate bloody. Bernadette. Yes, um, how far away am I from, um, Thetsu? Because I can't see, I mean, I see his... Um... Like, over here somewhere? Yeah. But I can't see him because of the bush, so... Yeah, it sucks. The, the uh, lay of the land kind of fucks things up, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move 25 feet over here. Ah, I can see him now. And he said, and I'm gonna... Should I healing word you? I mean, they're not attacking. Um... Can I tell her my hit points, or are you wanting her to roll something I, I, on that mic? I, I, I see them, I see them. I have a macro for it. You can right, see so... my hit points? Yeah, so I have a macro. Bernadette, that's who is dragging... Draken through the scrub. Yeah, but I'm afraid that if Dra if I heal Draken, that he'll go and attack the dire wolves again. Even after we we were started starting to run away. You you've got to make that call. You cannot tell that in the good conscience of your character. You can either throw out the healing or not. But. A character will do what they want on their turn. Hmm. I'll move five more feet over here. And wait. Hold up, women. Sun in right. For I'll I'll wait for that's a to come closer so that I can help him pick up Draken's body. So we can both carry it. I love it. Um, you get the turn order <coughs> back up here. I'm slurring my speech because it's what I yeah. It's it, it's nearly three in the morning for me, and it's nearly four in the morning for Bacchus. Like, like you got no excuse there, Mike. <laughs> mm. All right. Yeah. So let's speed this shit along, shall we? Mm hmm. Salkath, Kados, Bernadette, and Fetsu dragging the body of the unconscious dragon. Mm -hmm. Proceed to the gates of Barovia. The dire wolves snapping at their heels. Make no further attacks. They were like kind of like hurting monsters, if you will. And when we pick up on our next session. Mm hmm. You will enter through the gates of Barovia. <laughs> <laughs>